Good morning. How's it going? I am refreshed. I am fuck. waiting in the queue, apparently, to join the server. Um, <laughs> managed to get like eight or nine hours sleep last night. It's pretty good. First time in over a month, I think. Yeah. How you doing, um I did see that um that tweet that you sent me. Um about um what was it? Oh, about God of War. Yeah, 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 yeah. that's the one. Should be good. You know, if I, if I can ever get my hands on a PS5, which I can't, because not only do they just never seem to be in stock, I also just can't afford it. Yeah, it's good to know that um, when I do eventually um, get around to replaying God of War, like before the next one comes out or something, um, I'll have... A nicer version of the game to play. Ah, here we go. Why do they do this? Why why do they make an area where you have to do your hunter's log thing, right? And you have to kill five of these things. But then they only put four in here. Actually, is this even the thing that I'm looking for down here? No, I'm looking for big mouth... Big mouth Orobons. This wasn't even the thing I was looking for. Alright. Where are the, uh...
Where are the big ones? Oh, the Aurobons are the, the fish. I think. Okay, there's a little watery bit over here. Oh, that was quick. Yeah, the game was actually super cool. I love playing it. The only thing I wish I had been able to do, or the, the only thing I wish I had done was, um, I wish I'd played it on the harder difficulty setting. Like I played it on hard, but there's a difficulty above hard. I wish I'd played it. Even then, I didn't even really finish everything. Why is our... I don't think our tank has played this dungeon before. I don't think our tank is tanking. Maybe it is.
Oh, don't tell me we're going for chests. Oh, we're going for chests. Is there even a chest over here? I don't even know. Alright, I found this side now. feels very slow right now. Not what I was looking for. Uh, first thing in the morning is a very slow run of this dungeon. dancer that we have 
is fine. So I don't, why are you back in? Okay, never mind. I changed my mind. Everybody sucks. Like, what the fuck is this healer doing? Nah, fuck this. Fuck these guys. None of them are getting a commendation. They're fucking going big balls thinking they can just blitz through it. Nah. Oh look, where where is he going? Do we even have to fight these things? I should have left as soon as we wiped that first time. I should have just been like, nah, I'm out. Man, the dancer skills just look so flashy. And so cool. I love it. Yang, you have news. What's up? That's a good ring. Yeah, that is a good ring. Agreed that. Oh, I can't need it. No. Uh, I can't need that ring? Really? The 
that ring seems so good for me. Man, I'm so, I'm actually so glad that Umbral isn't here to see this. I would honestly hate to think the things that he would say about this, uh, this dungeon right now. go level 49 we're getting close we're getting close to 50 I'm probably gonna do the the 50 probably gonna do the 50 monk quest uh, before I actually switch over to samurai what the They went too far ahead and now our tank's in a cutscene. Fucking idiot. Ah, damn. this on. Oh, Violet. Wait. Our he healer was like, nah, I don't care about the damage. Wait, what? Oh, I missed the uh, the blue. What? There's no way I was out of that. But yeah, get that violet.
greed it all. Player commendations? Fuck no. I'm out. Nah. They got nothing. No, I'm not commendating any of them. Not happening. Is that even a word? Commendating? Gotta be, right? One's not over here. Guess not. Okay, so there's no aura bonds over here. Ah. There's the bar kefts that I need. Well, there's only three of them, and luckily, I only need three. There we go. Seraph, hello. How you doing? Okay, so that's the North Shroud. That's the North Shroud. That's the North Shroud. Silent Arbor. And... Aurobons. Aurobon is in the lower pass. I looked in the lower pass. It was not there. What the hell? Seems lying to me. must just be a bit I missed or something. Um. Okay, so that's something else. Red belly is not the thing. I'm looking for a well or something. Poachers. They're apparently around Silent Arbor. Right, we got goblins. Well, if they were in this cave, it wouldn't say Silent Arbor. So we'll just say they're not down there. These hunter's logs, man, I swear. Yeah, I think I just need to go back down to the lower pass because I can I know I can get both of them down there, supposedly.
Okay, we're in the lower pass. See if we can find horror bonds. Which I, yeah, I'm pretty sure the Aurobons are the fish, which is why I was looking around here. Ah, here we go. Oh, really? Does it not, does it not tell me whether they're fake ones or not? nearly attack that thing that wouldn't have been good all right I can get the uh The last poacher guy over here. Oh, hunter, rather. There we go. That should do that one. I think that's all the South Shroud ones. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I guess we'll try and do some... Uh, some main story stuff while we're waiting for these queues to pop. Then we can finally switch over to Samurai. Is Dancer a 50 or a 60? Dancer came out at the same time as Samurai, right? Or was it Gunbreaker and Dancer? Yeah, I feel like it was Gunbreaker and Dancer. It was Samurai and something else, right? Answer is 60. Yeah, okay. Sam I, is it Samurai and... Red Mage? No. Or maybe. Oh, that's right. This is the dungeon. That's why I'm here. Okay. And Machinist. Uh, Machinist is 50 as well, right? I completely forgot that this next main story mission was also doing a dungeon. Oh, thank God. Thank God we don't have skinny pig and meaty pig. <laughs>
So this is a, a dark knight. Is that a black mage? I can't tell what these classes are. I still need to get used to seeing the uh, the symbols. I recognize the Dark Knight one. Yeah, it's still be a black mage. I have no idea what our healer is, though. Is that an astrologian? Nah. Nah, it's not. Oh no, that's the black mage. Yeah, what are you, what are you, what are you? Oh my god, we're fighting a lot of things at once here. Oh. No, don't go that way. Oh, my God. Do we have to go this? I don't think... I don't think we even have to go this way. It is an astrologian. Ah, what a guess. I'm the best. Wait, these guys are complaining about the map design in here? Doesn't even go into my recommended gear. <laughs> oh my god, please don't do this. Where are you going?
The annoying thing is, because I have to get out of AoE effects, like, super quickly, otherwise the lag is just gonna screw me over. Um... I'm actually going to be doing less damage because I'm trying to run away from the thing before it potentially kills me. Yeah, if they kill the thing first, then it's like missed damage. Oh, it still has the effect of uh, demolish on it. I loot. Why can't I do that? Oh, a 98. Oh. If I don't win that. Yeah. Is that even good for me? Yeah. Wants to replace my weathered ring. Huzzah! Finally, my weathered ring. Gone. It's out of there. Oh god, where are you going? Oh god, where are you going? Oh my god. There's a chest over there. Oh, look at that. Hello, chest. Yep. Yep, that's right. You went the wrong way.
You know, it's funny. I might actually be okay with going the wrong way. do this thing. Oh no, blue! Oh, I'm gonna get hit by that. Oh no, we're good. Oh no, blue! Oh, I'm fucking... Uh... We need this belt. Right. I think I think maybe I should stop complaining about Oh, I got hit by this. I got hit by this. I shouldn't have been hit by this. I really don't want to do this. Like, how much XP do I need? Like, 90? Alright, let's just do something... Let's just do something quick and easy. Do we think this will get me? 
this isn't going to get me 90k, is it? More than 30 minute wait. Alright. Let's, with, let's withdraw from that. Jesus. 30 minutes. Oh, I didn't get a award from the Lady Guildhurst, I guess. Um, ah, you know what? Let's just, let's just do this one again. It's somewhat quick, I guess. While I'm waiting for him, maybe I should just return to Uldar. I'll do the level 50 monk mission. And then we can switch over to Samurai. Yeah, I'm just going to hang out in the... Uh, Oh, uh, no, it's not even the Pugilist Guild, is it? It's the uh, the Goldsmiths. I was going to go hang out with the Pugilist Guild. Yeah, what did they... What did they change in the patch? Is that like a patch notes thing? They should be able to read a patch notes thing, right? Oh, the queues are going to be terrible. Ah. Is that what happens on new patch day? Let's have a look. FF14 patches. What patch are we on right now? Patch. Not patch 5.4. Uh, January 12th? No. It's not even. Was it even a proper patch? I I guess it was just a maintenance thing. Empress, hello. How you doing? good i am also pretty good i got some sleep <laughs> which is good
Yeah, I'd, I'd say so. So we're on 5.45. Okay. So, 5.45. New job quests have been added. So, something for Blue Mage. Blue Mage level 60. Blue Mage 63. 65. 68. 70. 70. Oh, you can become a blue mage in Uldar. Mm. Use side story. Quest. Sky steel tools. Wait, new chapters have been added to New Game Plus? What the hell is New Game Plus? <laughs> Oh, new housing stuff. New furnishings, new orchestration rolls. <gasps> new triple triad cards have been added. Hell yeah. New emotes. A new hairstyle. Level cap for blue mage has been increased to 70. New blue mage spells have been added. New stages have been added to the Mast Carnival. New entries to the Blue Mage Log. A large scale beauty has been added. Savage mode has been added. 13 new forgotten fragments and lost actions have been added. Pure Essence of the Gambler increases evasion by 11%, crit rate by 77%, direct hit by 77 Cannot be used with other essence. Is that... Is it... That friend request from Yang, I wonder. Oh yeah, that's that's gotta be Yang. Maybe. What is the details of this? What is this called? Falling Star Fallen Star Kingdom, 191 people. They've got a mansion and everything. Pain, hello. How you doing? Wow, this thing's been going since 2014. Alright. Apparently I'm in a free company now.
Perfect. <laughs> now you can start your game with a Yang. Oh my god. <laughs> you got totally burned out on this after Stormblood. Yeah, I'm just seeing how it goes, really. Alright, you'll join the free company. Start by changing your chat mode to free company and greeting the other members. Uh, sure. Hello. Uh, selected free company from the social section of the main menu. Each member is assigned a rank. Various levels, depending on your rank, you may or may not be able to access such features as promoting current members or inviting new players. So how many members participate in various duties around the Aussie? They will not only earn experience points for themselves, but points for their free company as well. As company points around the free company will increase in rank. As rank increases, new features of company press. So yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Company chest is a communal depository. Okay. As the company increases in rank, additional compartments will be added to the chest. Okay, so it's just the guild chest. Uh, your free company can now create its own unique company crest. To edit the company crest, you must first have authorization to do so. You must speak with the OIC officer in charge. Located at one of the three grand company of eels, your headquarters. Once your company has attained proper rank, you'll have the opportunity to apply the crest to pieces of armor for all the realm to see. Okay. Company actions can be used to temporarily increase the status of all online company members. They can be accessed. To okay. Group pose is a thing we can do, apparently. So the idling camera just kind of like pans around other characters. Huh. So it's not just NPCs, they're actually like. And not just in the area that I'm in. Wait, how does this person have two? Hey, the idling camera is kind of cool. Hey, what's my my PvP profile like? Hmm. Uh, do, 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 do. where is? How do I access my free company menu? There it is. It's this button. Okay. Oh, there's a Discord and everything. I joined the free company four minutes ago. Hooray. There's 192 people in this. Wait, rank 30. Is rank 30 good? Stardust Knight. What? Wait, what am I? I'm a Stargazer. So I'm the very bottom rank. Yang's only rank 10. Ah, that's a shame. He 
You should ask for a promotion to Galaxy Major or a Galaxy Warrior, not I kind of I saw Galaxy, I saw Alpha Major and I said Galaxy Major. <laughs> Or maybe Alpha Warrior. Fuck, I did it again. <laughs> Alright, what is this? Increases XP earned through battle by 10%. Aha! Finally. Let's go. Oh, there's a new mount. There's like a Cerberus mount and an umbrella. Another Dark Knight and an another Astrologian. like everybody's playing Dark Knight. All I see is Paladins and Dark Knights now. Yeah, I don't know how long this uh, free company thing will work, but I'll give it my best shot. this person doesn't get lost. Probably just a stun that.
Oh, I saw two of them about to go up there. See, I like this boss because I can just stand here and press like five buttons over and over. I literally don't have to move. Finally did it. Level 50. Right, the only problem is I'm not a very um, I'm not a very social person so it's uh, a little bit difficult for me to like talk to people I probably won't say very much in the uh the FC chat or whatever, so you know. Should be the worm now. Yeah, there he is. I'm actually very upset that this uh, bard has one more HP than me. Oh no, that was, okay. That was supposed to be the twin fist reset. Twin snake.
am I taking damage from? I have no idea why I was taking so much damage from them. Oh, our bard nearly got wrecked. Was our tank not holding aggro or something? No, not that one. Yeah, 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 we're coming, we're coming. do the bit with the bombs I can't remember yeah I guess we must have done going.
All right, here we go. Try not to die. Try not to get hit by blue. That is my aim. No. both of these. Sure. Give you a commendation, why not? Oh, hooray, we did it. Level 50 monks. That means we can do this level 50 quest here. We'll get the armor and we'll get dragon kick. And then from there, we will switch over to being a samurai for a bit. finally get to learn another class which I could have done at any time really to Silver Tear Falls in Mordona. Alright. Where is that? I have never been there, apparently. Oh, it's from over there. So I go to Mordona. Oh, and there's Corthus. Oh, okay, I needed to find that place.
All right. So before we switch over to Samurai, we'll, we'll do this level 50 monk quest. So I want to get that armor. I want to get out of the way before I forget. Oh god, this is a high level area. What the fuck? I didn't realize this was such a high level area. Challenge him. Ascension. Ah. Oh, I don't want to go first. Oh my god, stop this. Alright, fine. You win. You happy? Yeah. No, leave me alone. Me alone. Why are there so many enemies? You can't paralyze me. I just want to get over here and attune with this Aetherite, please. Why am I over here? Where is he? Oh, he's over there. Okay. Oh, why am I still yawning? Got a decent amount of sleep last night. Sort of. Egg roll Eric. Nice. He looks so upset. I feel like he's also going to be slightly evil now.
Yep. Definitely evil. I don't know who these other losers are. You can kill me. Seems quite unfair that he's got these guys with him. What the fuck is this? I think I got him now. Where are you going? What is that? I figured I could just stand in there because he's kind of weak. So there we go. Got him. Nah, the power is mine now. I'd be a Super Saiyan too. True. Oops. 
Jones. <laughs> Why did you strike me? Because you're an idiot. Yeah, exactly. You tell him, Eric. Oh, look at that. Our world is round and we live on its surface. Take that, flat earthers. Proof. From Eric himself. Two wrongs don't make a right. Wider guts. What? Why? Wider guilt. Whatever your name is. However you pronounce it. I wonder if I have to keep going to Eric to learn more monk skills. part of the resistance revenge here you go have a chest piece <laughs> wow so he, wait he actually just took off his chest piece and gave it to me I didn't realize I was just going to take his. Yeah, he literally gave me the shirt off his back. That's right. Oh yeah, of course. Perfectly gonna fit. It's gonna perfectly fit. I learned Dragon Kick. This concludes the monk quests for Realm Reborn. In order to undertake the next series of quests, you must first meet the following requirements. You must have completed the main scenario quest before the dawn. Once you've done so, the next monk quest will be available from Eric. Sweet. Yep, looks exactly the same. I actually really like the monk gear. The monk gear looks really cool. And I also got this, right? 
this is this is the monk artifact thing which I guess is exactly the same although it does look a little bit more yellow Yeah. But I can't use this in dungeons, is that right? Alright, well... Oh, I learned true north as well. Perfect balance. Grant six stacks of perfect balance. You stack alone in the execution of a weapon skill that requires a certain form without being in that form. And then true north nullifies all direction. All action direction requirements. Delivers an attack with potency of 230, 260 when executed from the flank. Grants Leaden Fist. Oh, that's right. Leaden Fist makes boot shine really good, right? Changes form to Raptor. Actually, I can just remove these. My hot bar now. All right. Well, I'm going to return here because even though I just got this monk gear, I'm pretty much going to switch out of it immediately uh, because. I'm about to become a samurai. Where is samurai man? There he is. It's this guy, right? The way of the samurai. Samurai and monk share gear. It's good. Uh, just when you think you've seen all the world's full of surprises, what am I talking about, you ask? Just the most amazing blade work I've ever seen. Wasn't even the main card either, but light entertainment. Far Eastern fellow, old enough to be my grandfather, appeared and called for challenges. Who should answer him but the brute, uh, but a brute of a gladiator? People thought it was either memory or a sick joke. After all, one expects from such a mismatch. The old and infirm versus the young and inform. But when the action began, the old man proceeded to drop everyone's jaws. His opponent, not least of all, with his blistering blade work. The most riveting moment, though, was when he had the challenger on the back foot. For instead of finishing the job, he went and sheathed his blade. Putting your steel away in the heat of battle, that's akin to committing suicide. This wasn't lost on the gladiator, who lunged him with a mighty swing. The players gasped collectively, thinking it was over, and it was, but not for the old man. For in the next instant, before anyone could comprehend what had happened, his opponent was crumbled on the ground. One fell stroke and an impossible speed, the old man had drawn his sword and dealt the telling blow. A few heartbeats passed in stunned silence, and the stands erupted into riotous cheering. The odds just recounting it gives me the chills. The speed, the precision, the elegance. Simply sublime. Was it possible I had never heard of this Far Eastern warriors, these samurai? Wait, are you thinking what I think you're thinking? And you want to face the old man? 
the Silver Tongue Showmaster was looking for a new challenger, but you don't want to do this. Let someone else be the fool. Speak to the Silver Tongue Showmaster. Alright. And he is... Over here, outside the Gladiators Guild. It's going to be fun. I'm, I'm looking forward to being a samurai. Uh, my accessories aren't that bad, surely. I mean, yeah, they're pretty bad, but I need a new choker. There's a vitality, mind, direct hit, dexterity, vitality. Yeah, I mean, this has got to be better than this one, surely. You know what? I'm just going to equip this one. There you go. It's got to be somewhat better. You hit 50. Do you have among currency poetric unlocked? I don't know what that means. What does that mean? Currency tab. Oh, actually, that reminds me. I still need to try and get a promotion. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what I'm looking for. Wait, something reset at 8 o'clock today, didn't it? What reset at 8 o'clock this morning? Oh, my challenge log. Quicken the eye, don't let his age fool you. If you can best him, you'll be rewarded with rare Hingen treasure. Just one condition, you must fight with the same blade as the old man's. If you think you have what it takes, proceed to the Gladiator's Guild. Wait, I have to fight with the same blade as the old man? No, I don't want to join the Gladiators Guild. Where are we going? Oh, we're going over it. Here he is. What's just be like the hardest fight ever? <laughs> just like, what's that? You want to be a samurai? Get good, scrub. Uh, Musosai. Okay. Is she one of the samurai swordsmen from the far east? You know that the swords we wield are unlike those of this land. Katana, they are called. I will lend you such a blade along with a stone talisman of sorts. Wear them on your person, you shall become one of us, at least in appearance. Hey. So I'm a samurai now. That was easy. Combos. Melee on classes such as Gladiator and Marauder can chain together their weapon skills to deal additional damage. Wait, why is it telling me about combos now? Oh. Oh, because I was a pugilist and it's different. Combos are not available to pugilists, as this melee class employs a unique weapon skill chaining system. Uh, okay, so I'm going to have to completely relearn how to fight. <laughs> if a weapon skill can be chained with another, it is indicated in the weapon skill's help text under combo action. In the case of Vorpal Thrust, 
If executed immediately after truth thrust, the potency will be increased. Some weapon skills must be delivered from a specified direction to maximize their damage. When a weapon skill can be changed into a combo, its hotbar action will be outlined with a flashing yellow border. Okay, so it's basically the same. Basically the same thing. Oh, I'm naked now. Oh, I need to change weapons first, don't I? There we go. Now I'm a samurai. Then gauge unlocked. What? Uh, you have changed to a new battle class. To lessen the burden of leveling multiple disciples of the one experience points known as armory bonus is added when slaying enemies and participating in fates. This bonus grows larger and greater the discrepancy between your current level and the level of your highest class. Use this to your advantage. Well, we're both 50, so. Oh yeah, I got an attire chest. You're right. The Sen Gauge displays which of the three Sen effects, Setsu, Getsu, and Ka, are currently accumulated. Sen is required to perform Aijutsu, the number of Sen accumulated determining which weapon skill will be executed. One for Higabana, two for Tenka Gokun, and three for Madara Setsugeka. You can view the job gauge description at any time from the actions and trades menu. What the f Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god, I've got to look through all of this. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, dear. Alright. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, that's kind of badass. I like that. Uh, off talk here, I just got the best call. My monitor has red and green lines dancing about all over the place. It looks like Christmas lights. <laughs> what are you supposed to do about that? How, 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 do you, how do you resolve something like that? Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like the hair clipping through part of the collar there. Nah, I don't like that one bit. All right, I'm going to have to change this immediately. All right. Let's have a look through some of these skills, I guess. So we've got everything up to Mako Shisui. All right, delivers an attack with potency of 200. Uh, delivers an attack with potency of 100, but it does 320 after I use Hakaze. It increases damage dealt by 10%. Okay, so Hakaze into Jinpu. Reduces the amount of damage taken by the next attack by 10%. Okay, well that can move down here. Uh, delivers a ranged attack with potency 100. Okay, so I do actually have ranged attacks. So this, this can go down here. Actually, you know what these... I already know what these do. So these can go down here. Uh, these definitely go down here. North Wind is another one. Arm's Length is another one. Faint is another one. Okay, we'll get rid of this. And then we'll move these skills up here and hope they're all good. Okay, what's next? Uh... 
Shifu delivers an attack with potency of 100 after Hakaze. So Shifu and Jimpu are the same. Fuga delivers an attack with potency of 100 to all enemies in a cone before you. Okay, so this is an AoE. So after Jinpu, we get Gaku. Executes a weapon skill depending on the current number of Sen stored in the Sen gauge. Uh, delivers an attack of 100 to ne all nearby enemies. Okay, so this is an AoE. So after Shifu, we get this one. Then after Fuga, which one's Fuga? Fuga is this one. Okay, so these two link up. Okay, so this is this is a, a combo AoE. And then after Hakaze, okay, so Hakaze is the first one. And then execute up to three weapon skill combos without meeting combo prerequisites does not refer, uh, affect IGT. Oh, what have I done? Oh, I like that. Oh, that's so nice. It's pretty good. All right, so how are we going to do this? How are we going to set up this hot bar? Is there a training dummy I can whack? Where, where, are the, where, the, where are all the training dummies at? There'll be a training dummy somewhere, right? Where are the training dummies at? You think I could just go into a guild hall and access a training dummy? Teleport to FC Mansion. We have two as you enter. Oh, okay. Just as long as nobody tries to talk to me. Ah. Oh, this is nice. I'm interested now. I'm having a look around. Okay, this is not what I was expecting when I came in here.
what is this? Oh, that thing. Ooh. How have I not unlocked any mini games? Okay, not bad. Not bad. Alright. Miss? Didn't even know I could miss. Wait, is this not supposed to be after Jimbu? Hang on. So how do I combo into this one? So it has a chance to fail. Our team roll. I get the third send. So that grants Setsu, that grants Car, that grants Getsu. Okay, so I need to get the combo bonus. Wait, why did that not grant Setsu? Is there another bar I'm missing somewhere? Trying to grant Jimpu. This one's Jimpu, right? Okay, there we go. And then we do this. Wow, misses. Damn. So the chain doesn't fail unless you do a really higher level enemy where you're likely to miss. Samurai has three directional chains. Each chain complete gives a different stack. Each stack stacking, giving different powerful moves. A samurai specifically single target enemy priority to get the first chain in. You get a dot, put a dot in an enemy, then start building three gauge combos. 
One lit dot, two lit, cone AoE, three lit single target. Oh, it's because I'm training on a level 70 dummy. Oh. Are there any... Oh, that might be it then. Yang, where's the other dummy? Where, where's the dummy that's not level 70? There should be a level 50. Should be a level 50 dummy around here somewhere. Apparently there's a way to reset this. Yeah, there we go. Okay, where's the where's the level 50 dummy? Maybe I can No. Was that Central Shroud the banner? Central Shroud. What's the banner? <laughs> it's me. Uh, I guess I could just try and find somebody's house that has one. Maybe. See if I can use it. Oh my god, let me in. Okay, none here. Summerford Farm, okay. Ah, oh, level 80 and level 60. God damn it. Level 80, level 60. Can I use... Can I use a mount while I'm in here? God, I can. Bim, bim. Bim, bim, bim. Level 50 training dummy. Here we go. Don't mind me. Just gonna use your uh gonna use your training dummy. Okay, so it looks like Hakaze is gonna be my opener for most of these. Okay, so which one's car? Car is the same as this one. 
What does this do again? Delivers a ranged attack. How how far are we talking? And this doesn't lead on to anything. Oh, that's actually okay. Extends Jimpu du duration by 15 seconds. And this one grants Getsu. Okay, which one's Jimpu? Jimpu is this one. And it increases all damage dealt by 10%. For 40 seconds? Holy shit. So Jimpu is one. And the other one, I guess, is Shifu. So let's see what these skills look like by themselves. This is Higabana. Actually, hang on. So Higabana is a dot. Which does damage over time, potency 40 for 60 seconds. And this is also Higa Mana. Also, oh, Higa Mana is just one. Oh, I see. I see how it works. So I need one and then two. So two gives me Tenka Goken, which is a cone attack. So one is the dot. One is the dot, two is the cone. And then three. Potency 800, damn. Man, I, I really like it. I, I really like it. That is... Yeah, I, I think I like this. So much more. The moves are flashier. It looks cool. Okay, so... So, I guess the question is, so I do this after Fuga. And Fuga is this one. And I want to do Higgin Banner, right? Higgin Banner is the dot. 
And once I've done the dot, that's when I can do Midare Setsugeka. So I do this combo first. Then I dot. Then I do this combo. Oh, uh, no, sorry. I do this combo first into Higgin Banner. Then I do this combo to get car. Then I do this combo, which will give me Setsu. And then I do this combo again to increase the uptime on Jimpu. Then I Madare Setsugeka. And then I do it all over again. Okay, I can get behind that. I want to apply the dot first, I guess. Shifu first, always with the recast time shortening. Which one's Shifu? Shifu's this one. Ah, I see. So I, I want a Shifu first in order to reduce my cast time. So, in fact, the order of my skills should be more like this instead. So we do this, into this, into this, then we dot, and we do this, into 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 the big skill. And then we just repeat the cycle again. Okay. All right, I can get I can get behind that. And then I got my AOEs here. And then this is third eye which reduces the amount of damage taken by the next attack. Third eye is is third eye good? I feel like third eye isn't good. So my AoEs don't actually require anything because they do it all themselves. Okay. Alright, I mean that's that's fine. So this is the skill that means that I can do all the weapon skills without meeting the requirements. So wait, does that uh, it does it says that it doesn't affect Aijutsu. So it only uses the attacks, but it doesn't grant me Getsu, Kar, or Setsu, right? Is that what that means? Hang on, let me have a look. So this is supposed to grant Getsu. Oh, it does grant it. Oh. Wait, why why is it only giving me two? R is this one, right? And Getsu is this one, isn't this one Setsu?
Okay, Setsu's the top one, Getsu's the left one, Kara is the right one. Oh my god, that does so much damage. Okay, so that's the dot. Okay, re reset this, reset this, reset this. I don't want to be pressing that by accident. Do I care about lowering the target's strength and dexterity by 10%? I don't know if I do. I feel like I need a fourth hotbar. I also feel like I need to move this. I need to move this send gauge. I feel like I need to move it to like here. Can I resize these boxes? Oh yeah, I guess I can. I feel like maybe I want to put it like here instead, but make it a little bit smaller. I feel like I want to put it, like, right there. Maybe not right there. Maybe... Maybe I want to put it, like, here. Because that's pretty much where I'm going to be looking the most. Because I look at... I look at, the, like, this side of the hotbar more than any other. So I feel like having it here... Would be good. we we'll do it like that. Okay, so I want to do this, into this, into this. So now I want to apply the dot, and I want to do this, into this, into this. And then I want to do this, into this. And then I want to do this, into this, into this. Then I want to do this. Then I want to do this. And get the uptime of Jinpu back. Then I want to do this. To this. And then we'll do this again. I think that should be good. Yeah, I think I'm... I think I'm going to get the hang of this. It seems pretty straightforward. Which I like. Okay, I got my stun here. I got blood bath there. Yeah, I, I feel like I need another hot bar somewhere. I feel like maybe I need hot bar for... I feel like maybe I need to... How do I... How do I just move stuff up a little bit? Because I don't want to use the mouse because I'm very bad at, like... Moving things up. And having them stay... Great. What the hell is a cross hotbar? What is it? What is it? What is the cross hotbar?
Okay, with my XP bar being here, I can't fit in another hot bar. What if I just move it to the top of the screen? Here we go. I'm just going to put my XP bar up here. My XP bar isn't really that important. gonna put like useless crap down the bottom like my mounts <laughs> and my minions and my companion stuff like summoning my chocobo and dismissing my chocobo and changing the stances of my chocobo and allowing it to do whatever it wants okay my hot bars are a mess <laughs> And we're going to put all of my healing stuff. Like my it my healing items. Don't need ethers. We can put the milk down here as well. Oh, skill speed six. That might actually be good. Did I ever get a new weapon? I get a new how do I get a new weapon oh, yeah. is there is there anything better than this gear there's got to be better stuff than this gear right there's third eye we're gonna put this ability over here because this is the ability that I need to press go for range skills over here. I can't reach over to seven on the keyboard, so putting them here separately as my range skills is better. So this requires Fuga. So these both require Fuga. Oh, one extends Shifu gener uh, duration and one extends... Oh, so once I have these skills up and I'm just spamming AoE, I just do Fuga into this one, Fuga into this one. And then I can just alternate between these two. And then alternating between these two will also give me the AoE Aijutsu. Ah, okay. All right. Let's go fight the old man.
All right, hello, old man. Let's go. See the stirrings of a newborn samurai. Tis plain the stone has already bequeathed some of its memories unto you. I mean, the memories is one thing, master, and there's quite another. Prepare yourself. We will begin as soon as you are ready. You have learned all samurai actions and traits to level 50. De detailed uh, descriptions can be viewed under the actions and traits window. Okay. Let's go to the arena. All right. Okay, so it's one thing to learn this stuff on a training dummy. It's a lot different to put it into practice in an actual fight. Oh, I look so confident. there no one gets to take down that old bastard set me barreled the last standing scourge of the sands why are you here you made a fool of me earlier but this time there'll be no tricks this time i fight with my own sword not that pathetic excuse for a needle you handed me a boneheaded barreled Oh, he was actually cast out. Oh dear. Ah, oh, fight you. No, oh, never mind. He's going to fight you. Get out of here. Look at that sword, though. That's a nice looking sword that he's got. All right, let's go.
Hey, I did it. Easy. Very cool. And I think... I think I only messed up the rotation once during that fight. I could be wrong, though. Oh, here we go. Get out of here, Berold. Hey, welcome back, Empress. Alright, so it looks like... I'm going to be fighting multiple people here. So maybe it's a good chance for me to test out the other skills. Arranged ones. I have to get Shifu and Jinfu up first. Or maybe not. Just sending in archers. Who's next? Go! Whoa! <laughs> Why are we... Oh, come on. Why were you there? I need to remember that I have a long ranged attack now. I 
think that went well. Huh. When do I learn that skill? I think I'm really going to like Samurai. So I'm going to have to go to the Gladiators Guild every time I want to learn a new skill, I guess. So who's this guy? <laughs> Just chilling out. Yes, I will become your pupil. Teach the Amons. <laughs> oh, gotta go to the nearby tavern. Ah. Yeah, he called it something else, right? He called it the Slick Hand. I guess he I guess he got the name wrong. underwent a period of strife during which numerous opposing factions vied for supremacy the age of blood this age many took to battle with katana in hand and then the crucible of war our art was forged the way of the samurai eventually the realm was unified under one banner and peace reigned once more the people set aside their katana save for we samurai we continue to wield it as a symbol of authority and with that authority comes a grave responsibility protecting the peace but the age of blood is never repeated. We samurai seek out the wicked and bring them into account. In doing so, we ward off chaos and preserve order in the realm. Air's ear. Matters not where we are. This calling guides us always. To that end, we shall journey the land, you and I, on a quest to right wrongs. With one who has grasped the foundations of our art, it is your surest path to mastery. Our efforts begin in this very city. I shall cast a uh, cast a bell for evil that has taken root here. We'll proceed to excise it. All right. Uh, some even quicker thing. I managed to set up a wager and turn a tidy profit. Mozigo, I owe you a debt of gratitude. Thanks to you, I have found my pupil at long last. I pray that you will live comfortably with your winnings. <laughs> Actually, I had a mind to join you. Wherever you go, I sense the coin will follow. And besides, it seems you're planning to re our evil in our fair city. Though you do well to have me along with my connections, I can procure the information you're like to need. Then there's a small matter of your complete and utter lack of knowledge of Eorzea. There is that, indeed. Had fate not seen fit to, be, uh, to unite us, I never would have found my way here from Festa Bay wouldn't be standing here breathing. If anyone owes anything, it's me. You saved me from those cutthroat bandits when I tried recruiting them for the Colosseum. Hey, okay. As for you, my friend, to be marked out by old Musasai himself, you must be made from uncommon stuff indeed. Not to put the pressure on, but I have the highest hopes for you. I shall undertake my search for Mama Zigo, uh, with Mama Zigo's help. For such time, there are developments. Pray continue honing your newfound skills. Oh, I will. Don't you worry about that. I will continue to hone my skills. Oh, okay. So he's not in the Gladiator Guild. He's in... He's here. Okay. Alright, so I need to be... Ooh, 52. Okay. 
not gonna lie, I just looked at the bottom of the screen to look for my experience bar, and it wasn't there. I need, I need to remember that my XP is at the top of the screen now. Is there a way to move the chat window? How do I move the chat window? Wait, what's a Kenki gauge? I have no idea how to move the chat window. I guess you can't. Because if I could move the chat window up a little bit. That would be most useful. Then I could move the XP bar down here. I guess maybe I could still move these hot bars up a little bit. How does that look? Yeah, that is a little bit better. So if I can just move these up a little bit more. All right. I think that should be fine. God, it looks a fucking mess though. If I can move all of these up one more. No, if I move this one to here. Okay, and then I might even be able to move this one down a little bit. Alright, much better. There we go. Saw it. Actually, you know what? Even this bar could be something else. Is there a way for me to make a hot bar that extends? I wonder if there's a way to do that. Like maybe with a macro. Alright, text commands. Uh... Extend, no. Open, no. 
Because, like, all of this stuff, this is all, like, companion and... Stuff. I, don't, I don't really need hotbar 4. But if I could change hotbar 4... Be something else. Maybe, like, a 6x2. And then move it. Okay, if we move it like that, we can also make it smaller. Like that. And then I can move it like off to the side over here. And then I can move this up. How's that look? Yeah, I think that looks much better. There we go. Maybe 80. Oh, actually, the others are 90, right? So we can do 90. We'll save that. We'll move it so it's like here. Yeah, much better. There we go. Oh, that looks fucking awful. <laughs> All right, let's queue for a dungeon. Let's let's queue for that uh, story dungeon. Yeah, that actually looks kind of bad. Level 70 Black Mage here. Oh, actually, that reminds me. If I go back to... Limsa, I should be able to hand in some seals and get myself a promotion. Promote me. Hey. Storm Private Second Class. Alright, what do I need for the next one? 3,000. Okay. Guys, looking for a few... This just gives me 367 gil. <coughs> TJ, hello. How you doing? Good morning. So I guess this is another PvP thing. The 
doing all right. I'm doing all right. I got a bit. I got. I got some sleep, but for some reason, I'm still super tired. So, fun times, right? What is this? The red mage. What are you doing to me? Why are you healing me? Who is this person? What are you doing? Okay. What was that all about? Oh god, I'm not going to have access to some of my my skills here, right? I'm le I'm going to be level 20 or 28 or whatever it is. What skills am I not going to have access to? Okay, I don't have access to Kasha. Fuck, I don't even have access to Gecko. I don't even have access to the Sen Gauge. Oh my god, I'm gonna suck in this. This is going to be so bad. I mean, I can keep my skills uptimed. Wait, where are you going? Where are you going? Did we go the wrong way? Where, where are you going? I have access to like five skills. What a stain note. What is this? Ah.
obtain a Magitech Proto Cell. I don't even have access to the Sen Gauge at this level. guy seems to know where he's going I guess how big is this place hold oh my god it's massive What level is this skill? This is a level 50 skill. Sooner. Alright, this day we kind of stop. Uh-oh. An 
opening forms in the web. Where are we going? We're going this way? Alright, we'll go this way. Uh oh. Keep going. Oh, we can't do the thing. Oh, is it because we don't have a prototype magic set, uh, Magitek? So. go back yeah we go we gotta go back right we go back this way what's peloton do movement speed increased ah to be dealing with the ads here. Nah, it's fine. It's fine. Legs, meh, I don't care. Oh, I see.
Oh, I love this section of the dungeon. It's so good. Why did we come here? <laughs> oh my god, these guys are lost. <laughs> We're trying to follow Shane Montgomery. He doesn't know where he's going. This other guy hasn't stopped casting magic since we got in here. Defeat Graphius. Okay. Ah! I need to look for some uh, weapon mod. And yeah, like I need to I need to look for some weapon uh, bog station stuff. I wonder if Samurai gets one. Darkness. Ooh. Do I have a map? Yeah. Those guys don't, apparently. <laughs> El -Kor. Yes, I am the slayer of Ifrit. <laughs> See, the gone well wrong. Mayhap I might if I deign to speak in my guest cruel tongue. We meet at last. This is the big bad. I am Lahabrea of the Asians, servant to Lahabrea. Yours is a most fantastical I feel, tale. I feel like this is the guy Truly from the cutscene who dropped the moon on the world. It is a tale to tell Eorzea's children before bedtime. And it will soon be dark, bringer of light. The dark minions. All that stands between this world and darkness is an irksome anomaly in the ether. The Echo. Yes. Yours is a most fascinating tale. Alas, like all good tales, it must needs come to an end. But fear not. They're already fighting it. I'm, I'm, I'm in the cutscene. And these guys are already the fighting. Of evil. 
for the end of your tale is but the... There it is. Alright, in that case, let's just skip it. It's, they're already halfway done with the fight. Whoops. <laughs> I was watching a cutscene. Contributed nothing to that fight. God damn it, cutscenes. <laughs> oh, that's right. That's why we're here. We're here to get the elder. Finally, fresh air. May have not so fresh, but better than before. Ah, sinister one is gone. This one can leave this awful place. The wo uh, did walking one vanish the many-legged one? This one is grateful to walking one. This one is called Frisio, eldest of those of little solace. Yeah, that dungeon wasn't as bad as everybody was telling me it was yesterday. It wasn't terrible. Alpha Squad reporting, sir. Nothing of note at Lark's call, sir. Understood. Return to Area 12. Damn it all. Where's that accursed icon hiding? Or where is that accursed icon hiding, I guess? No sign of our wise and friend. I'm afraid not, my lord. Shall I order that search perimeter, the search perimeter be expanded? Absolutely not. We risk alerting the Gradanians to our presence. His Excellency bid us avoid unnecessary confrontation. Close as I am to admit it, I found no evidence to suggest that Ramu uh, will be gracing the mortal realm in the near future. I ask you, what good is a god who does not grant one's wishes? Were I a sylph, I should strongly consider finding myself another idol. Which reminds me, what of the sylphs we captured? A handful of them seemed to be in reasonably good health when last I looked. Apologies, my lord. I fear we may have been overzealous in our efforts to compel them to summon their icon. Really, Centurion? Were you not aware the vegetables bruise easily? It is well that I did not entrust you with the important task of making my dinner. Well, mayhap it was a kindness. Better dead in truth than dead in one's own god. But dead to one's own god, I suppose, if you believe in such things. Dawn is upon us. Make ready to withdraw. Useless. We are so close to completion. I can fair taste it, but at this rate... No, I must be patient. Our reference will bear fruit in due time. What was it you always said? Ah, Yes. That we mean bringing down the very heavens who shall challenge the limits of possibility if not we. And that alone were you right, Garland. But your star is long fallen. Uh, your star is long fallen while mine doth begin to rise. 
And it shall burn so bright, so bright that Lord Van Beelsar's ultimate weapon will seem a mere candle beside it. Ha ah, ah, ha ah, ah. ha ha. Yeah, unfortunately, there are no samurai weapon sets to get in the um, in the store on the Mog Station. I do still want to get that Fuga armor set, though. Where is that? Uh... Where's the Fuga set? Don't tell me they removed it. Ah, oh, say it ain't so. I see the Far Eastern schoolgirl uniform. Where's that? Ah, oh, there it is. Fuga attire. Oh, it's because I was searching women's, but there's also a men's variation as well. I wonder if I could dye it. Oh, you can dye it. Ooh. Okay. Uh, those waking ones. Uh, those walking ones did for Noxia. One is certain of it. One fears that other taken ones also suffered the same fate. This one is convinced walking ones have black hearts. Seek only to harm this these ones. Walking ones are not to be trusted. And then Nerexia, do not pass judgment too hastily. Not all walking ones are alike. Though there are evil ones among the walking ones, there are good ones also. Does walking one feel unwell? This one would know. What brings walking one to this place? Came to one's rescue at Norexia's bidding, and this one owns walking one debt of gratitude. Walking one has questions about Lord Ramu, then this one will provide answers. First, let these ones quit this lightless place. One will return to Little Solace. When walking one is ready, please come and see this one. These ones may speak properly then. Okay. Then it is settled. Let this one accompany walking one outside. Sure. We did it. Now we have to go back to Oscaron. Don't actually know if that's how you say that guy's name. Karen? I don't know. Get back. Tell me the Sylph Elder as well. Thank the gods for that. I don't really know what to make the rest of your tale, but I'm glad Frisio didn't come to any harm. Uh, there I go. Tempting fate. Run over to Little Solace and secure us peace with the Sylphs before all else befalls us, eh? Rest assured, I'll send word to our friends the Charleian and the Twin Adder both. Gungridan, you're a great service this day, lass, and earned yourself a place of honour here at the Druthers in doing so. Sure to come by when it feel like a drop of Kirk and fire water. Mm. Oh, just take the money thing. Hey friend, there's something I'd like you to see delivered to the Silsa Little Solace. It's Azema Rose Oil. It's a gift to celebrate the safe return of their tribe's elder and the token of Gridania's desire to unite. 
Wood is not what it once was. The calamity changed the elements. Uh, the elementals weakened them. Until their strength is returned, we must lend them ours to keep the wood safe. Ours alone will not be enough. We must have the strength of the sylphs as well. Only by working together uh, will we survive together. And the twelves wood with us. The gift is uh, you. I ask you to bear as a symbol of the hope that both Bredanian and Sylph alike will live to see the light beyond this darkness. Oh, I can challenge him to triple triad. How good is he? Oh, he's, he might not actually be that good. Oh, d dissension. Same and order. Oh, what? You've actually got... Okay. Never mind. You you do actually have good cards, apparently. Red wins. God damn it. So I know that the, the rules are order. So if I just go here and change the order of these cards. Something a bit more like this. I'm in the South Shroud. Ah. Oh, yeah, I'm down here. So that funky music reminds you of an old game. Is it, perhaps, Final Fantasy VIII? No? Yeah. Because that would have made sense. Because that's what the music's from. Uh, a gift from Walking One and Busker and a gift of these ones. There you go. That's some rose oil. I don't know. I, I don't know why. Could have Could have been anything. Such a lovely scent. This one has never smelled anything like this before. Walking one, busker on and adventuring one are very kind. I know that this one is deeply grateful. Many walking ones are scary. Many walking ones utter many lies and much deception. But this one is moved. 
let all of these ones be friends forever. Puznik? What is Puznik? Let's have a look. Oh wow, that is a that is a very old game. Looks familiar though. Nineteen eighty nine. Jeez. One has been expecting walking one. This one fetches elder one. Yeah, you go do that. One is pleased to see walking one again. Welcome to the house of these ones. Oh, here we go. Here they come to ruin it again. There you are, Blair. We've just been hearing tell of your deeds of daring do. Well done. Now ah, the walking ones who aided Norexia. This one is grateful. A pleasure to have been of service. If you don't mind my asking, how did your misadventure come about? This one does not mind. The misadventures, as Walking One calls them, of this one began when Imperial Ones entered the wood. Fearing trouble, these ones decided to watch Imperial Ones closely. These ones watched too closely, and Imperial Ones noticed and tried to catch these ones. Having nowhere else to hide, this one fled to Totorak. Would that this one had not. In Totorak, a sinister one, robed in, uh, robed in black, tried to feed this one to the many-legged one. Sinister one robed in black. Why do I have a feeling I should be more worried, ab uh, worried about that than I am? Out of Frixia, we came to you as emissaries of the great nation of Gridania. It doesn't say great nation, but I'm saying great nation. Uh, this missive bears the words of Elder Seedseer. This one sees, so walking ones of Gridania are fearful of Lord Ramu. Plainly put, yes. Your people summoned the Lord of Levin but once, yet that single occurrence occasioned great alarm. But it's not as if the Gridanians dislike you or anything. Actually, it's just the opposite. They think of you as friends, and they don't want anything to get in the way of that. That's why the Elder Seedseer wrote to you. See, I used to say that. I used to pronounce it as Rama. But it's not that, apparently. Apparently, it's Ramu. Yeah. Yeah, really. I can't remember who it was that told me that. But they've also mentioned it, like, voiced in this game as Ramu. But then again, you can never trust the official pronunciations because apparently it's Tidus and not Tidus, and I refuse. Uh, this one well knows and respects Horned One Kanisana. Be assured, like walking ones of Gridania, these ones have no desire for conflict. These ones resorted to summoning Lord Ramu to protect the wood from Imperial ones. This one counseled against doing so, but was not heeded. Against this one's wishes, Lord Ramu was summoned, and all the ones who took part became touched ones. one was so desperately to turn touched ones back to normal ones but did not know how and still do not know touched ones meanwhile wanted to turn these ones into touched ones and did know how but this one fled to little solace with those ones who did not wish to be bound to lord ramu but walking ones of gridania needed uh not fear touched ones of lord or lord ramu unlike other primal ones lord ramu is not callous and cruel 
So long as walking ones do not trespass on these ones' ancestral homeland, where touched ones reside, walking ones will not suffer thunderous judgment. This one has spoken enough of touched ones. This one would speak instead of these ones. As this one said, these ones desire peace with walking ones of Gridania, and so these ones ask for a chance to set things right. By way of an addendum, mortals who are tempered come to take on the qualities embodied by the primal in question, in this case of the Sylphs. Remu's influence has made them fiercely protective of their homeland. It explains why they're so hostile towards trespassers. What about the abductions? Fine question, Ida. The abductions are, I believe, an expression of the tempered Sylph's desire for reconciliation, another quality traditionally associated with Remu. In the crudest manner imaginable, they seek to bring their fellows back into the fold. Timely reminder that the challenges posed by each primal are unique. Elder Frixio, we thank you for making your will known to us. The people of Gridania will rest easier in the knowledge that they and the Sylphs are united in their desire for peace. Wishing to cooperate, this one has written down the feelings of these ones. Please see that these feelings are conveyed to Horned One Kanisana. And with that, I believe we can lay the matter of Ramu to rest. A Sylph Elder is very reasonable, I must say. You could learn a lot from him. Was that a jibe? Ah, oh, I missed it. Clicked the wrong button. Anyway, we're going to head back to the Waking Sands and tell Minfilia all about it. If not, we'll be sure to mention the instrumental part you played in all of this. And while we see to that, we should appreciate you would deliver Frixio's missive to the Adder's Nest. Elder Frixio, we humbly thank you for your time. It's been an honor. The honor is this one's. Together, let the walking ones of Gridania and these ones find a way to live in peace. Oh, please wait, walking one, Blair. This one has yet to give walking one a token of one's appreciation. Oh, damn. These, uh, these ones summoned Lord Rama. This one, these ones were gifted this crystal. This one would now bestow the crystal upon walking one as a symbol of one's trust. And this will open the third seal, I assume. Is it the third one? Yeah, I got red and blue, now purple. Three down, three to go. This one was not mistaken about walking one. Walking one is destined to walk a fate far crueler than this one can imagine. A brilliant light from within walking one enveloped the crystal this one saw. Mark this one well. That crystal will one day be of use to walking one. Walking one must keep that crystal safe at all times. Or walking one returns to Gridania, this one would talk, ask walking one to watch touched ones. As long as touched ones are not troubled, touched ones will not make trouble. Walking one witnesses touched ones making no trouble. Mayhap walking one can testify to walking ones at Gridania that these ones mean no harm. These ones' homelands are fraught with danger. This one's marked down safe places to look out for touched ones. Stand lookout east of... Okay.
Oh, I've got mail. There are tempered silts in the distance. You do not sense that they pose danger if left alone. Let's just go in and murder all of them. Where is the male Moogle in Gridania? Have a look at Yang's uh, stuff, shall we? Order of the Twin Adder. Twin Adder, Yang, really? Venus, Dancer, Black Mage, Summoner, Red Mage, Blue Mage. Samurai, Bard, no Dragoon, no Monk, no Ninja, Usualist 17, Lancer 5, Rogue 14, Archer 63, Thaumaturge 60, Arcanist 60, Conjurer 21, Marauder 11, Gladiator, no Paladin, no Warrior, you got a Gunbreaker and a Dark Knight, wait your Dark Knight is 30, how do I unlock Dark Knight? I'm going to need to put this in. Oh, experience bonus, 15%. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, I'm going to need to put these two into my in thing. Let's get to 60 and then I can unlock Gunbreaker and Dancer. I'm sure another couple of ones that I want. No achievement rewards to get, apparently. No weapons. I can get a goblin cap, fat chocobo head, a ribbon. Actually, how does ribbon look with this? Can I dye this ribbon? I can. Actually looks pretty good dyed. Yeah, check that out. I might I might I might get this ribbon.
Wait, is this... What is a Magitek Deathclaw identification key? Is that a mount? Oh, I can summon a mighty behemoth. So that's some so these are minions. Are these all mounts? Black mage barding. Okay, so this is barding, and this is barding, and this is barding. So the behemoth is a mount, and the magitek deathclaw is a mount. What does the voidal resonator do? It's worth six points, so I assume it summons something. Oh, it summons... Okay, so it is a mount. It summons an Aroman. So Voidal Resonator is a mount, Behemoth Warhorn is a mount, and Magitek Deathclaw thing is a mount as well. Might just get some barding. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab this. I'm gonna grab this. I don't know. I don't know which one of the uh, ones of these two are good, but let's find out. Oh, actually, I can't summon. Uh... I can't summon my companion here, can I? Alright, I'm gonna have to go out into the world. Oh wait, I actually came up here. The Cascadia uniform is a bikini. I did hear that, yes. Oh, I can, uh... Extract materia from this ring. Quick tongue materia. Plus Dissension and three open. That's a minus two. Oh, actually, never mind. Blue wins by a lot. Yeah, get wrecked, nose. All right. So let's go to an in room and we can set my... Uh... my thing. Bro Master is a level seven conjurer. 
Yeah, I was told yesterday about the, uh, the bikini thing. Right. Now it's time for me to go back to Uldar and do all of the side quests I missed. Glamour dresser. We will put in. What's the difference between these? I think I actually like this one. I actually like the color on this one a bit more. So look, that one's a, like a deeper yellow. That yeah, 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 yeah. I I like this one more. So we'll, we'll put this in. Oh, less durability. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's right. I've got to make everything durable. Repair all of that. Repair all of that. Repair all of this. Repair all of this. Repair all of this. Repair all of this. Okay. So, Yang, where's all this gear that you were going to get me kitted out with, eh? Temple gloves. Stick those in there. We'll stick this in there. That's all I needed to stick in there. I guess I could stick that in there as well. Little circlet. Temple. Temple. Uga Hakama. Choker. Rings. Alright. So add a glamour plate. We'll do glamour plate two. Oh no, that's not what I needed, is it? I needed wanted this with this actually we can remove this come on the eye patch no gloves I'll go for this I'll go for this I guess Man, this doesn't come with any other gear. It just it just looks like this, which I guess is fine. We'll save that. But then if we bring up the character thing and we apply glamour plate two. There we go. This is my character now. This is my samurai. I look super cool. I do want to try and dye this though. Except I don't know what color to dye it.
Probably not a brown. I don't like the idea of dyeing it yellow. Maybe, maybe not purple. I mean, I guess I could just go jet black. Although I imagine jet black dye is probably pretty expensive. That makes it look like silk. That's kind of cool. The dark purple. I I don't see any purple in this. Do you see any purple in this? Honestly, soot black dye might actually be pretty good. We can dye this soot black as well. I think I have some dyes. Where am I dies who has my dyes rose pink snow white snow i have snow white and bone white so this is snow white which one's bone white Which one needs bone white? Because it actually looks pretty nice in white. I'll go like full... Full on... Gotai 13 or whatever. <laughs> oh, what? Wait. Bone white is a yellow dye? I'm not going to lie, it actually looks pretty nice. Might just snow white it. But then I'd have to do something with the gloves as well, except I can't. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, maybe I'm just okay with this for now. Like, what happens if I put on... What happens if I put on my other glamour plate? Just wear this as a samurai. Nah, I like it. I, I can get behind this for sure. There you go. Money well spent. All right, we'll go hand this in to the twin adder guy. Yeah, imagine being part of the twin adders, though. How do I remove a glamour from something again? Because now that I've bought it, I don't actually know if I like it more than what I had. <laughs> when the meeting with the Sils... We did a thing. Miss it from the Sylph Elder himself. If I may. Sylphs have no desire for conflict, nor do they intend to summon Ramu. So long as we leave the Tempered Ones be, we need not fear any aggression on their part. The Elder Seed Seer will be overjoyed to hear that the Sylphs have welcomed our overtures. And in the knowledge that they bear us no ill will, we may channel our resources toward tackling the more conspicuous threats to our security. You have done this nation a great service, my friend. On behalf of all Gridanians, I give you my thanks. You're welcome. Actually, what does he want me to do? Amanda Halu appears to have more to say, and I get Vesper Bay. Oh, I see. This this it gives me more tokens to get back to the Waking Sands. Silphic folk have long been friends to Gridania. The mere thought of being at war with them pained the Elder Seed Seer to no end. 
Owing to your efforts, she will be able to rest easier. Being the benevolent soul that she is, my lady will surely try to find a way to reverse the tempering process. Once again, I thank you. Had the science of the Seventh Dawn not offered to mediate between our peoples, suspicion and doubt may well have led us into needless conflict. Pray pass on my regards to Lady Minfilia. Hello, hello, Blair. Can you hear me? It is I, Minfilia. Eden Papalimo returned some little while ago, and we wasted no time in regaling me with the tale of your exploits. Thanks in large part to you, the name of one primal may be struck from our list of enemies, and the Gridanians may turn their attention to more pressing matters. At the end of the tale is, uh, pray return to the walking sands at your earliest convenience. I would apprise you of the present situation in person. Sure. Pray return to the waking sands. <laughs> but before we do that, we've got some side quests to do. Uh, we have one here. Something about Lord of the Dance. And we got nothing here. And nothing here. Okay, so we got one side quest to do in Uldar. Wait, what am I waiting for? What was this quest? Uh... Help me, Lord of the Dance. Right, but before we do this quest, I need to go grab something to eat. So I'll be back in a couple of minutes and then we'll do some side stuff for a bit. Give me a chance to um, get better with my samurai. I feel like I've got the rotation somewhat down. Um... But we'll see. But yeah, I'll be back in a couple minutes. Hello, I'm back. I think this might be a dancer quest. Uh, I don't know. It would be in red then, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it be in red saying requirements dancer or something? Oh, it just gives me the bull dancer mode. I 
I guess I have to go dance in front of people or something. Mini the Mink, say. Eh? There's two people down here to talk to. I see the Hustings strip place also counts. Apparently this place is also uh, classed as the Steps of Fool or whatever it's called. A luscious lady. Gamer, hello, how you doing? You're gonna go play a private server for Soul Woker. Soul Woker, let me have a look, see what that is. Oh, Soul Worker? Oh, I played that game. Yeah, I played that game uh, a couple of years ago for a friend of mine. It's pretty good. Very anime. Actually, what is, wait, what is Burning Soul worth? Oh, this is the private server. I see. Oh, what did I... What did I play? I can't even remember what I played. I think I played the scythe-wielding character. Maybe the guitar one. I can't remember. What? <laughs> a 
Oh, what a Dan Seuss. Easy. So now he wants me to do it. Here we go. Alright, late gamer. I'll see you later. Have fun with your private server game. I haven't lived, just made a living. <laughs> One way of putting it, I guess. Oh, she wants to be an adventurer now. My bad. I have learned the emote ball dance. So we got no more quests here. We have the quest over there. What about central? Oh, I can't actually see until I'm there, can I? Where's my recommendations? Try match daily roulette guild test. Uh, you know what? I I guess while I'm doing this other stuff, I can queue for a guild test daily roulette. Why the hell not? Oh, that was quick. Level 10. Alright, let's go. Wow, I have access to a whole two skills. <laughs> Days. 
Leaving a good impression. Zero. Oh, I got zero points for that. Ten commendations. A. Hey. Yeah, that was, uh, wait. This quest wasn't here before. Who's this guy? Some adventurers are having difficulty summoning their retainers. Should you wish to offer your assistance, you will find these troubled souls in Nimsonum and Sir Grandonia and Uldar. The rewards will be the same regardless of who you help, so do not hesitate to aid the adventurer of their choice. Okay, I'm gonna get something called Venture. Is there anything working? So you look like you're an old hand when it comes to this adventuring business. Mind helping me with a situation? I sent my retainer to Drybone the other day. Adventure. You now she's gone missing. Okay. Oh yeah, I need to summon my Chocobo. And then I need to check out these, uh... These extra bardings that I just bought. Oh, that's kind of cool. I like that one. Ah, oh, the Black Mage one. Hell yeah. Okay, I kind of like this, uh, this wild rose one. Yeah, this wild rose one is very cool. And the other one I got was black mage. Oh, that's cool too. Now, let's go for wild rose. I don't know what wild rose is, though. Wild rose was the password... That Minfilia gave. Right? Yeah, Min Minfilia gave the password. Wild, uh, wild Rose. What you got for me? I completed a fate, apparently. Wait, we swapped a card? What is this? Quite convincingly. Swapped a card again. Gonna put it there. Oh, he put it up there. Oh, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Oh, why did I do that? Well, he's going to be able to take this back regardless, so...
We've swapped the same card every time. Oh, actually, he took my Leviathan last time. Another draw. Another draw. Oh my god. Man, give me a shitty bomb. Oh, he's going to put it there. Fuck. Alright, the recommended cards are... Not good. All right, we're going to put him on the back foot. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot to look at my challenge log. Challenge log. Gold saucer. Win 10 matches. Play, win three. Play mini games and 100 GP from mini games. Okay, I think we're going to go to the gold saucer at some point. I've done this little side quest up here. Or at least accepted this side quest up here. Samu. All right. Uh, transmutation. Okay. Speak with Mutabits. I, I really don't care what this guy has to say. I, I'm not... I'm not doing it. Alright. Oh, that was easy. Mewtwo makes more for materia transmutation for your end time free of charge. Bring the goblin five pieces on one in materia. He will transmute into a single new piece. Use you see fit. That said, materia transmutation remains an inexact science. As for what manner of materia will emerge. Okay. Hello, Nem. Welcome back. How goes the samurai life? Pretty well, actually. I'm really enjoying samurai. Oh, 
What did I get for that? Deception plus five. What did I get? Oh, I got Gatherer's Guile. Yeah, Gatherer's Guile three. That's not bad. Oh, that just explains it again. Okay, so I can do material removal, but I don't... So he's not actually somebody who can put materia on. Yeah, it's useless for me because I'm not a uh, gatherer or whatever it is. All right, let's just go to the gold saucer. Oh, actually, it's a good thing I'm here because in 25 minutes time, all of the gold saucer stuff resets. So, not bad that I'm here. I guess there's some quests that I can do here as well. Passion for fashion. I can do this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Screen invitation for former party. Yada, yada. New tournament modes unlocked. Oh, that's all I needed to do. Alright. So all I needed to do was speak to that guy and we unlocked tournament mode. Okay, I need to talk to uh, Lawena. Fashion for fashion. Okay. Go to Wonder Square and seek out Mask Rose. Okay. More about Mahjong. Bloody hate Mahjong. I can't believe Mahjong's a thing in this game. After playing Yakuza for so much, the fact that Mahjong's in this game makes me sick. Okay, so the challenge log says enter three races, enter 20, win one, win 10. Participate in an open tournament and receive your reward. Okay, so we'll try and enter a, a tournament as well. Alright, while this is going on, we'll bash a Gilgamesh. We need to win 100 BP or G MGP doing this. What? That was definitely in the middle. I'm raw. Hello. How you doing? I'm so glad you weren't here any earlier. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm glad you weren't here earlier. I, I did a run of Cutter's Cry. It was the worst thing ever. We had the worst healer and the worst tank I've ever seen.
Has anybody tried to give you the skinny and overloaded with stuff that won't be relevant for another 20 levels yet? Uh, don't think so. Alright, so we've done that. We've done that. We're entering races. And... Okay, so race items. I don't know what this is. Training manuals. Training manuals. Yeah, so we had this like... We had this terrible, terrible healer. And terrible, terrible, uh, uh, tank. And we actually wiped. We actually wiped at one point. Wait, am I signed up for a guild test? Why am I signed up for, what? Why am I signed up for a guild test? I thought I was... I was signing up for chocobo stuff. Ah, oh, it's bullshit. But yeah, I pretty much get how samurai works. Sorry, right, I'll just take all the aggro. It's fine. Who cares? <laughs> get one there you go oh you have three combos just go through the three combos your bus will go up and be kept up in the natural flow of combat as you fight you get a send for each combo you finish if you have one send you hit the enemy with a dot try to keep this up on big jerks at all times two send that's a cone attack three send that's just a big hit yeah so the way i i basically understand it get me the fuck out of here um yeah, so the way I understand it, it goes something like this. So I start with Hakaze. I then move over to Shifu to keep up the Shifu buff. And then I go to Kasha in order to get Ka. Then I go back to Hakaze. I go to Jimpu to get the Jimpu buff. And then I go to Geku to get uh, Setsu. Then I go back to Hakaze and then I use Yuki Kaze to get... Setsu. Oh, this other one is Getsu. And then I get Setsu. And then I use this. My Aijutsu. And then I just start that process all over again. And occasionally when there's more enemies around, I can use Oka and Mangetsu to extend the durations of Shifu and Jimpu. But that that's less important. That's essentially how I understand my rotation. Oh, yeah, sorry. No, you're right. You're right. I need to do that first. I need to do one, two, three, then Higgin Banner, then one, four, five, one, six, one, two, three, then I use my Aijutsu, and then once the Higgin Banner effect starts to wind down, that's when I hit them with the with the Higgin banner again. Yeah, I completely forgot about the Higgin banner. All right. In this one-on-one -on -one battle, each player commands a field of minions in an attempt to shatter their opponent's arcana stones. Victory is achieved. Did they put League of Legends in Final Fantasy XIV? Victory is achieved when all opponents' Arcana Stones have been destroyed. 
like your starting minions. Sorry, the briefing period is over the initial pre-battle phase where you can prepare your initial forces. The minions you select during the briefing will be placed in your summoning queue. Try selecting a minion from your minion hotbar. Uh, this one, I guess. You have successfully selected a minion and will now be placed in your summoning queue. Okay. Each minion has a summoning cost which ranges from 10 to 30 and as long as the total cost does not exceed the capacity of your summoning gauge, you may summon them multiple times. During the briefing period, your summoning gauge is capped at 60 points. You must be quick with your decisions. As your preparation phase is a time limit of 20 seconds, familiarize yourself. Okay. View of the field is controlled by the camera. Using the control to shift your viewpoint around. Okay. So I got two airships going in. The battle has begun. All your minions are placed in the summoning queue. You can now use these orders, these summon minions. Okay, now the summoning capacity has been expanded to 240 points. The gauge displaying your current summoning cost and can be found on the minion hotbar. Okay, so that's down here. Summon minions enter the field from your currently selected gate. The middle of the three gates, gate D, is selected by default. Left click on the A found on the hotbar to display summoning on gate A. Okay. By summoning units to the gate's condition, you can cut down your minions' travel time. Okay. Once a battle is underway, summoning minions in quick succession will incur a penalty in the form of a recast timer. Yada yada yada. When the recast timer is in effect, subsequent attempts try summoning several minions. Okay. So 10 minions can be placed into the summoning queue. Okay. This part of the tutorial, Wayward Hatchling has volunteered its services. Move a minion must first select the unit, then select the unit's intended destination. Left click the minion to select it. With the minion selected, right click the desired destination. I see. It is kind of rts -y. Okay. Now you select, try moving them as a group. Left click and drag the cursor to create a selection. Oh my god, it's more StarCraft than uh, than League, actually. Your opponent's minions have been uh, trying for them when you must engage your minions. Oh, it's a little weird with hatchlings. One more. Fight! Uh, anyway, you will eventually have a bunch more mechanics like Kenki and OGCDs, but again, that comes later. Do know that Samurai does have positional attacks, they just don't matter yet. Very important from 52 to 61, from 62 on, they're more. It's nice if you hit the positionals, but if you don't, eh. Okay. Seems your opponent has taken advantage of the confusion to launch an assault upon your Arcana Stones. Should an Arcana Stone be surrounded by nothing but enemy minions, the structure will begin taking damage and ultimately be destroyed. You will lose the battle once all three of your Arcana Stones have been shattered. Move the way of attachment to the center of the field to beat the minions. Okay. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Don't kill one. Thank God. Your opponent has unleashed a bear of baby behemoths. Uh, there are four types of minions, and three of these, Monster, Critter, and Poppet, will fight each other uh, at each of an disadvantage depending on the nature of your opponent. Okay. Minion type affinities are as follows. Monsters are strong against Critters. Critters are strong against Poppets. Poppets are strong against Monsters. Okay. Red beats green. Green beats yellow. Yellow beats red. The final type, gadgets, are neither strong nor weak against any type. Remembering these affinities will make the difference. The behemoths are a monster type, and this is strong against your quartet of critter type hatchlings. To make matters worse, the behemoths execute area attacks as opposed to your hatchlings' single target. They're capable of inflicting damage against all nearby units simultaneously. You'll have the advantage on numbers, however, given your minions are better. Okay, so I'm probably going to lose all my stuff here. Oh, 
Oh, I'm not, apparently. Each minion is capable of executing a special action, which when used to good effect can turn the tide of battle. To execute a special action, you must first group together four minions of the exact same variety. So it's an action party. Each member of the action party must also have maximum number of action points, a resource that accumulates over time. Okay, select the individual minion for which you use. Okay, so don't think it particularly matters. We'll just do this one. Fix weakness to critters. Your hatchling's special action has allowed them to try and throw a through near impossible challenge. You notice, however, that the rigors of uh, to restore means I'll send the unit back to one of your gate areas. So here. I wonder what the benefit of sending them back to the gate area to heal. Oh, this is the gate area. Okay. No, that's the summon area. Yeah, I wonder what the benefit of sending them back to the gate to heal is as opposed to just letting them die and summon new ones. Teleportation. Minions inside the gate can be transported to another gate instantaneously. Select the way with Hatchel and send them to one of your other gates. Uh. Ah, okay. Using this function can allow them to quickly send minions from one side of the field to the other. Okay. Go, go, go. Oh, there's a trap, withdraw, all sorts. This seems like surprisingly in depth. Uh, your enemies don't inflict damage on opponents like Arcana Stone when enemy units in the red circle. Okay. <laughs> Am I really just going to watch this like this? <laughs> Where are you going? Get back here. Huzzah! Mama 01 is naturally strong against arcana stones allowing it to inflict greater damage watch how uh watch how much more quickly the hp of the arcana stone is depleted with the mammoth join the fray oh you're right okay This is where the innate strengths of the cherry bomb come into play. Try directing this group of cherry bombs against your opponent's shields. Okay. Uh, your opponent's shield has been destroyed. Enemy Arcana Stones will now fall more quickly to your attacks. You have to take swift action... Uh, switch to advantage of a deactivated shield. All structures except for Arcana Stones will regenerate. Okay. We'll restore its defensive properties. Okay. Go in there and attack everything. Oh, you actually have to destroy it like six times or something. All right. So the shield. Search eye. Gate. Okay. Oh, I got a reward. Sweet.
So I have played Lord of Vermilion one time. So I need to play this thing five times. I don't even need to win. Oh shit, I can put all... Oh, I see. So I can put all of my minions on there. All right, somebody told me when I first got to the Golden Saucer that there was a busted ass broken minion The you just spam that minion and win. And I can't remember which one it is. Kane has a multi attack. It was wind up fan for it, which you don't have and can get on the market board. It was cheap when I got it. That's what I know now. And it isn't a one size fits all thing, it was for beating one specific mission. Oh, okay. tutorial stuff or am I actually I'm gonna set Kane as my starting minion Kane and Boko Why not? Get over there. Send in the friends. these guys a little bit closer. My god, that bomb is insane. Where is this mama going? Get over there. Not the chicks. You know, go over here. Go over here. All right, you guys go over here. I think I'm fine with them taking it, to be honest. Sixty, sixty-five, seventy-five. All right, just come over here. Yeah, I think I'm winning right now, so it's probably a bit better if I just go for uh go for kills maybe like try and take out the stones
Like, even if they take out my stone, it's fine. We'll go over here and we'll start taking out this stone. Because, like, even if they take out my stone, I'm free, fine. Alright, so they shattered one of my stones. Uh, I'm not sure. I'll have to have a look in a sec. These are probably going to be the next lot I have to move. Oh god, it's actually going to be kind of close. Actually, I don't think it's going to be that close at all. I should be fine. Yeah, I just need to do this last health bar over here. Oh, God. Delay. 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 Get in there. Yeah, I got this. I got this. <laughs> Was this guy coming over here to try and take down my shield? I think it's a bit late for that, bud. Yeah, how do I get the mammoths? I guess I could go uh, try minion trader. Purchase minions with gill. Ah, mammoths and cherry bombs. There we go. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll show you in a sec. I want this thing. I want that black coil. Uh, yeah, so this is what I'm running with at the moment. I, I don't know why any of this stuff is. I do not have high quality 115s. I, I basically just have this. I, I just have the, the basic set that I was given. And then... Well, I don't get a belt. I'm still using my monk belt. I'm using the uh, the monk belt that I got for uh, whatever. Uh, I'm gonna go over here. I also did the level fifty monk quest. There we go. I'm signed up for the open tournament. <laughs> Why have I done this? Oh, what is this? Oh, I like the look of that weapon.
Wait, what? Oh, I don't have that set. Okay. Oh. Maybe, maybe not so much the, uh, the headgear, but the rest of that gear looks pretty nice. Oh, my, my bad. Sorry. Sorry. Wait, I can do this. Here we go. <clears throat> Hoshikiri. Oh, what it was glam to. Oh, my bad. Yeah, that's that's definitely not what it was. Sorry. They've gone. We'll have to see if I can find another one. He has the samurai as well, but it looks like they're using I don't know, that do that doesn't look like a katana to me. Kinda weird. Is anybody actually going to join this? Uh, do, do people ever do open triple triad tournaments? Try on this katana. This katana. And then draw a weapon. Ooh. Oh, it extends. And it like twirls. Okay. All right. Oh, I like that. Here we go. Oh, that's right. I'm level 50 now. I can buy... I can buy better gear, can't I? You're right. I completely forgot about that. Oh, my God. Is this a smooth jazz version of the triple triad theme? <laughs> oh, it's a draft. Oh, shit. What? Is the recommended? Oh, the recommended is taking this one instead of this one. Okay. I was close. I was close with picking the right one, but yeah, I'll take that. Don't make me go first. Play defensively. Who the fuck? Okay. There you go. <laughs> oh shit. That was quick. Blue win!
These are all bots, right? Wait, that was a draw? Damn. Okay. So basically nobody else joined this open tournament is what you're telling me. Did I win? Did he win? Ah, I win. Yeah. I wasn't paying attention to actually won that game. <laughs> uh. Am I going to play Wirer now? Game really wanted me to go first. Oof. Don't have a nine on top. Okay. How many rounds are there in an open tournament? I didn't even... I guess I gotta play every player once, maybe? Or maybe that's it? Three rounds? Aha! Oh, I like this. Oh, there was this Dan card here. I am. Okay. Good Tetsu. 2,503 gold packs. Damn. I like that. Okay. So we got the challenge for participating in an open tournament. That was 2,500 points and three gold packs. And we get a Geralt card. We also get a Mother Maloon card. And, oh, I already have Banderon, or whatever his name is. I'm saving up for the Noctis card now, I think. Well, that says zero, then.
that was nine. That was seven. That was... 119, 119, 252, 108, 72. So I, I did get the most there. You're sitting on 2.5 million. Oh my. Can you, can you trade um, MGP? Is that a thing? Trading NGP would be pretty cool. Right, so I need to participate in gate, which are bad. Like bad as in when do when do gates come around? Okay, so Chocobo races, triple triad matches. I need to go to the battle hall. I need to play three more games of Lord of a Million. Oh my god, I've had a fight against the Chimera so much. Okay, so the Noctis card is 200,000. I can buy a, a Fimalin. GG. Cloud. No, I'll, I'll get that. Um, I'll get that Noctis card. Save up for two hundred thousand. Is it possible to get, like? What cards is it possible to get from a Mithril Triad uh, pack? Like, is it possible to get five star cards that are, like, super strong? gonna use my recommended cards because I feel like some of them are different. Oh, that's who I got. Okay. Wait, is it my turn? No. Oh, I should have put Sid up the top. The next gate is supposed to be in two minutes and 51 seconds. All right. I, I should get out of here then. Let me just have this match against Nell half full and then I'll get out of here. I'm going to take both of these. Oh, just the one. card there. Alright, let's get out of here and go to the gate then. Is it going to be slices right again or does it change like every day? Wait, is there, an, is there another open tournament happening?
Wait, where am I going? I'm going here, right? So, the bent square. Wait, I got a quest to hand in, apparently. Oh no, I gotta go fashion for fashion. Alright, and while I'm waiting for this gate, I'll uh I'll have a look at the cards I just got. Maybe change my deck up uh change my deck up a little bit. Uh card list. So we got you. Seven three five five. Oh, so all of these cards are the same. They just have a rotation of pipes. Okay, he's terrible. I don't know why it wanted me to put that card in. Wait, what's this? Wait, is this a different event? Leap of Faith. Okay, we're going. We're actually going over here then. Round Square. Especially during you place several trophies throughout the course. Reach them before you clear the finish line. When participating as a pie, please don't all pie members must be present. Okay. Let's do it, I guess. Alright, how does this work? Oh, I see. a running jumping puzzle thing Am I going for that silver one? Oh, you can just make it straight to there, can you? Okay. I need to go onto the rock. Okay, I thought I needed to get up there. What? Okay. Uh. Ooh. Risk it. Risky business. See, I made very special uh, consideration for the fact that there might be jumping puzzles in this. So I decided not to play as a character that didn't have the right jump height to make it through some uh, jumping puzzles. Empress. <laughs> I'll stay under the goal arrow. Oh, I missed a silver cactar. Oh. Damn, I missed one. Wait, do I have to go back and get it? Is that why it's not letting me leave?
can go back. Yeah, but... I don't know where it is, is the problem. Oh, it's over there. Oh, I actually have to click on the goal. Oh, I see. Alright. Is, th is this how I go back? Alright, you know what? I'm going back. Let's... Let's have a look and see if we can grab this silver one. Unless it depends on how quickly you do it, in which case I should probably not have done this. even the right way. I don't know if this is the right way. No, you actually have to click on the arrow, apparently. Fuck my life. Why did I do this? Why didn't I just leave? Shit! Why didn't I just leave? I made it all the way there. I didn't fail once. And now that I'm doing it again. I'm fucking up big time. Fuck. How does that happen? is going the harder way to get the other statue was actually easier for me than going the shorter way. Just doing big long jumps seems to be easier. Oh, okay, I can just make it straight across. Yeah, going this way actually worked out to be easier than going this way. Uh, you know what? I'm not risking it. <laughs> I'm not risking it. Thousand. Four thousand doesn't seem like a lot.
But yeah, we got it. We we got there in the end. Oh my god, there's another gate in 10 minutes? There's just gates all the time. Okay, that person's got some cool armor. I'm going to need to go back to... Um, what's it called? Uldar. Yeah, I'm going to need to go back to Uldar and pick up one of those weapons. So what is the, um, what is the gate in 10 minutes time? The slice is right. The thing is, I don't think I can do the slice is right. Because it requires me... What was that pose? Uh, it requires me to... Um, to get out of the way of stuff. And with my lag, due to the server I'm playing on, that's not really that difficult. Oh, Mahjong. Please don't make me actually play Mahjong. We'll be here for hours. Even after playing eight, uh, eight Yakuza games... I still don't know how to play Mahjong. Okay, so we've done all of the quests here. Let's have a look at my challenge log. Five gates, races, I need to win two more triple triad matches. And Vermilion. Oh, I need to participate in two Mahjong player matches. Uh, no. No, I don't want to do that. a ninja. Yeah. Okay, while I'm waiting for this la this next gate to open up, we'll uh win or try to win another couple triad games. Oh, it's Ascension Sudden Death. Damn. Didn't see that. Yeah. 
Oh, I knew that wasn't going to go well. Alright. What about you? Oh, I already won his prize, apparently. Oh, three open order? Oh. I win! What was it I needed to do? I needed to... Okay, so I need to win one more and then I need to do some more in the battle hall. Hang on, I should be able to do the battle hall one pretty quickly. Just bust the battle hall one out. Because I can just play this person over and over, right? This person's really easy. Watch me lose now. Takes, yeah, it takes way longer just because it, of how long it takes him to actually uh, get through all his stuff. Oh, why did I do I put the wrong card down? Fuck my life. Haha! Blue wins. Alright. So I just need to win one more. We'll, 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 we'll still make it back to the gate. It's fine. I think. I think we should make it back to the gate. All right, we did it. All right, get out. See where this gate is going to uh, going to pop up, shall we?
Oh, there's a shop right here. Oh, I see. And it is well. My clock does so uh, show two times, so my local time is the same as server time, apparently, which doesn't make any sense considering this server is NA based. Oh, can you actually set it to show both? Oh, the slice is right. In the event square. Here we go. Ah, oh, I can't do this one. This one is so hard. Maybe there's a way to, like, display times. Wait, if I go to HUD layout and click on the server info. Is there a way for me? Okay, so there's not a way to do it like that. What if I do it like this? Uh... Wouldn't be under item settings, would it? Top settings, UI settings, HUD. Ah, clock type. Uh... Ah, there we go. Go. One of the coolest summons from Final Fantasy X. Summon the dog now. He is. Oh, you have to interact with them. Oh, okay. Luke, hello. How you doing? Yeah, that went that went pretty badly. I don't know. I managed to make it through the first bit. I managed to make it through the second bit. That other bit. Oh, minimal effort. 
He's still in. He's not even going for the money. Oh, no, you have to... Oh! Oh, you actually have to pick the right one. What? How? <laughs> What? How? How did he get that? This guy's a legend. God, this man's insane. Oh, shit. Didn't even know I could get up here like this. <laughs> oh, okay. What a guy. What a hero. Damn. Okay. Class 14 coming along. It's coming along pretty nicely. I just recently changed my class to Samurai and I'm having lots of fun. Alright, I think... Oh, okay. So wh when is the next one? Is it every 20 minutes? So the next one's going to be at the hour. Okay, so there's one on the hour, there's one at 20 past, and then there's one at 22. Okay, so I just need to do minion, I guess. I should change my keybinds to Q-E-R-F-Z-C-V. Q-E-R... F... Z-C-V. What does X do? What does X do that I shouldn't use X? Also, I can guarantee you I will not remember to use those buttons. Oh, I didn't set my... Marmot. Why well, use Q and E for stray things? So that might not might not be that good. I don't know. do I have? I have eight of these. Yeah, so we'll have three over here. 
We'll have three. Well, it'd be three, three, and two, wouldn't it? So three. Three. We'll leave those as a two. get back over there and once you've dealt with this guy you guys go over there I will send one of you back over here we'll have a nice 3-3 three, three setup over it Oh no, they're they're leaving. Okay. Send you guys down there. We'll send you guys down there. Send you guys back up there. We'll send you guys back up there. Why was this guy not included? In fact, it might just be bad to send these guys over here. And then we'll just group them all up together. All right, we're just going to do a left right swing now. We're just going to we're just going to send them all up to the same place. And we're just going to destroy the crystals very quickly. Because I, I think I'm so far ahead now that, that I don't see any way I could lose. And now that I've said that, I'm definitely going to lose. <laughs> Although I'm pretty sure this is the last health bar for this. So I could probably just have left them there. Yeah, I don't I don't think there's any way I can lose this, so I'll just leave him over here. Wait, what happened to what happened to some of my dudes? Where did you go?
Man, you, you don't really get a lot of M MGP for doing minion. Lord of a million, dear. Or Lord of a minion. Um, how do I change my... How do I change my bar? Ah, there we go. So I want to put this guy on. I want to put this guy on. And what was the other one? I got the chocobo. So these guys are good at destroying crystals. Uh, I think I need to do two more battles. I wonder if I can just quit the battle halfway through and that will still count. <laughs> oh, what is that? So there's no crystals, it's just a boss fight. Oh. Yeah, this seems really easy. There we go. <laughs> okay. I think Bart's might be really good for it. I think he has the highest attack. And the highest HP. Four fifty eighty. Yeah, four fifty eighty. That's four seventy sixty five. Oh, that's five sixty forty. Yeah, Bart's, Bart's just is the best to do for this. going to send them in four at a time.
Not quite sure what paralyzed him there, but I'll take it. question of how hard does it hit how much deployment does it cost pamphlet's good for this because it's 60 attack for 10 deployment oh okay and you said pamphlet was on the the board right oh shit wait there's a gate happening now isn't there Where's the gate? Oh, it's Leap of Faith, by the looks of it. Oh, it comes from Eureka, I see. Is this Leap of Faith? Yes. Oh, is this a different area now? No, oh, this is going to be a lot harder, apparently. Oh, my God. Okay, so you can get up that way. Where's the last? Oh no, I've already got all the bronze statues. All right, never mind. So there's another silver, there's the gold, there's another silver. Is that a short hop that I need to make there, or is that a long jump? It's like a long jump. Whoa. No! Oh! Ah, damn it. 
Because you don't have much room to maneuver. It kind of... It's making me short hop. I guess I've got way more time. Ooh. Is that a short hop as well? That that seems pretty high for a short hop. Whoa. Okay, so I need that gold one over there. Can we jump to there from here or? Oh, it's from that one. It looks like do it with a short hop. Easy. Welcome back, Nem. Ah, oh, playing Guild Wars 2 for years has prepared me for jumping puzzles, okay? Is there a market board in the gold saucer anywhere? No, no, there is not. It's a good thing, actually, because I want to I want to see the traders as well uh these guys over here so miners guild i want to spend these chocobo feathers oh wait i don't think i have them on me i think i deposited them i mean i could have yes I wanted to get here quickly, you know? Oh, wait, you can... Oh, wait, you can summon your... You can summon your retainers from the market, right? I think there's a retainer bell at the market. Oh no, this is just my gear. Yeah. There you go. Take all my monk items. Actually, should I do this? No, I probably shouldn't do this, actually. I should keep my monk items. For now. Or at least these monk items.
You. I think you have my feathers. You do. Alright, so... Bamfret. There is no minion named Bamfret on the market right now. Apparently. Oh, do I have to search the exact name? Oh, I guess I should have clicked partial match, right? Let's go, let's go proper. Wind, wind up, um, frit. No, I guess, I guess there just isn't one. Oh. Wasn't even the right one. 12,000. Eh. Did I pay 12,000 for that? Yeah. Yeah, I might as well. Why the L not? That's pretty cool looking. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll do that in a sec. I, I, I should go back. Yeah. First, hang on. Silver Chocobo Exchange. Wait, it's not going to be in this one, is it? Because... Wait, is it going to be in this one? Can I get accessories from this guy? I don't think so. Oh, I see. Samurai. Oh, this is the level 70 stuff. Yeah, I don't want that. And then I guess this is level 80 stuff. Oh no, this is level 70 stuff as well. Oh, I guess this is what I was on. Exchange 2 is probably 60. Yeah. So here we go. Samurai. Oh, this is the sword that I saw at the Gold Saucer. Is this stuff worth getting, by the way? The Ironworks Curus of Striking and the Hose of Striking. Is that worth getting? Because that would cost all 10 feathers. Ooh. 
Ooh. That is kind of nice looking, I'm not going to lie. Oh, and then this is a full set of gear by the looks of it. I don't think it looks very good, though. I just want to say fuck it and just get these things now. They are the best you can get as level 50. Pro is top tier weapon, chest and pants right now. One is you can get better by the time any of this shit is relevant. Hmm. But yeah, it doesn't look like I can get accessories. Just use what you've got for left side by high quality i15 stuff for right side. Pro is that it doesn't cost too much. I think con is it takes a chunk of money. You can wait for someone to gift you a set of the stuff. It's not top tier gear, but it's more than good enough. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. When I'm, when I'm playing normally or like specifically when I'm playing an RPG, uh, like an MMO, for example, why are there so many people here? Who the fuck decided to have a meeting outside the Miners Guild? What is this? Why are they all blue mages? <laughs> what is going on? I'm guessing this is a blue mage guy. Because everybody here is a blue mage. And I'm guessing now that they've increased the, the level for blue mages... Everybody's here now. Huh. Option three is a terrible idea, but for completeness, wait until you can get time stones of poetics. Use those to buy own works gears. Don't take a resource that matters. It's gonna be a while before you get it. Yeah, so the way I normally play Um Yeah, the, the way I normally play MMOs is I pretty much just wear whatever until it matters. And it usually doesn't matter until late game. Don't use anything other than slaying. Okay. So, Platinum Ring of Slaying. And then an Agate Ring of Slaying. Okay, this is level 50 and this is level 50. Or do I just get two of these? Can I wear two of the same ring? 16, Skill Speed 15, Vitality 15. What's better, the Platinum Ring or the Agate Ring? I think it might just be... Better to get two Platinums, right? Oh, one is 110. Oh, this is I level 110. Wait, does that matter? So I guess I want to get two of these Agate Rings instead. No, I do not. <laughs> no, I definitely do not. I could get two of these platinum rings. This is 60. There are none of these. Yeah, but I haven't unlocked tombstones yet or something. So that's going to be difficult to do. 
All right, that one's 60 as well. Isn't that one's 44? It's eye level 110, but... It's, what, 15,000 cheaper? Oh, those are 35. Oh, this one's only 15. Okay, so I have a question. Is it better to buy three... Uh, three or four high level 110 stuff or is it better to buy two i level 115 stuff two 115s or four 110s buying more of the slightly less good stuff is better Okay, so for instance, these earrings, I can get this 110 for cheap. Whereas the 115 one is like 20k extra. So I'm just, I'm just gonna buy it. I'm just gonna get this. And then necklace, we've got this one for 60. And we've got this one for 44. So it's a 15 cheaper. And then for the bracelets, we've got this one for 66. And this one is a zero. We've got the rings. We've got this one for 30. And this one, 64. So if this one, if the, so if I buy two of these, it would be 60, which will leave me with 30 something. So I'm going to buy these two rings. Leaves me with 22. And I can... I think I need 44 for this. Yeah, 44. Okay, so I just need 20k. For a normal quality one. Ah, fuck it. Oh my god, stop making me equip this. I want to equip this instead. I think. Yeah, I want to equip this instead. I might just get rid of this out of my inventory just so that I don't have to keep switching it back. So, is this my item level here? Yeah, see, that's that's generally how I do things. Um, where it's like, if I um, I I don't really worry about this kind of stuff until it becomes important, and it doesn't become important until later. Oh, this is how I become a red mage. Ah, okay. Well, I don't want to become a red mage. I don't. I don't want to really take on any quests that make me change class right now. Although that being said, red mage is one of the classes that I did want to try. 
Red Mage was the magic range DPS class that I wanted to try. Dancer and Machinist for physical ranged. I wanted Scholar for healer. I want Gunbreaker and Dark Knight for a uh, tank. And then I pretty much have the two classes that I wanted to be here. The way you gear up at 60 and 70 is different from how you do it at 50. The way you do it at 60 and 70 is, hey, you know all of those timestone of poetics, you mean stockpile and go use them. Okay, 50 is a problem because you're equipped with utter trash and you don't really have any bootstraps to pull yourself up by, so throwing money at it is the way to go. Yeah, don't don't really have a lot of money, so that's difficult. But now you get to enjoy an hour and a half of me doing side quests. <laughs> Actually, what what is what is in central? Blackbrush, right? Yeah, Blackbrush. Oh, actually, I've already been to Blackbrush. Yeah, I, I've done. I'm done in central. I've done all the quests there. Uh, I guess we'll go northern to the Cerulean plant. See if there's any quests over here. There are zero quests to do in this area. Oh no, there's a there's a leaf quest over here. <laughs> One of the options for gearing is it's going to be a while before it matters. Get to 52, see if that's cheaper. Okay. Well, like you said, it's pretty much not going to matter right now. Oh, yeah, I see the difference now. I see the difference between the high quality one and a normal one. I know it's a leave quest, but I want to get rid of this marker from my map. Oh yeah, what are these ventures? I have another quest that gives me a venture.
That was easy. Okay, so I got nothing in central. I do have stuff to do in dry bone though. So I got some side stuff to do there, stuff to do there. Oh, there's a dungeon over here that I haven't unlocked yet. Come back to see a chubby cat to cheer you up. Well, there it is. <laughs> there it is. What do I have to do? What you got for me, Caitlin? Escort mission. Oh, fuck me. In that case, where's emote? Beckon, beckon, beckon. Why can't these be in alphabetical order? Wait, can I set this guy as focus target? An enemy draws near, apparently. This one. And he's dead. I have guided him to safety. Almost I leave quest suck and there's no reason I don't bother me. Yeah, I mean, look, the only reason I'm doing it 
I shouldn't have done that. But the only reason I'm doing it is to get the quest marker off my map. All right. I did hear about that, yes. I did hear about the Resident Evil lady height thing. I don't know why people care about that kind of stuff, but... Apparently people do. The entire world seems to be obsessed with tall Resident Evil vampire lady. Yeah, see, that was the mistake I made. The, the reason I wasn't killing the Tuco Tucos is that... I forgot I needed to kill them, and I accidentally went back when I shouldn't have done. Announcement! Ah, Jesus. Uh, Drake Lodian, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. All right, get out of here, retain the lady. All right. Twenty twenty one is the age of Mills. Maybe. I mean, I have to be happy about it. Oh, what's this? I can challenge you to triple try it. Oh. He already has the card. Apparently. Ooh, what is that? Louis Swa. Free open order. Uh, that's not good. Oh, he's going to take both of these, isn't he? No, he's not. Wait, so he has a three on that side. There's a nine on the top and bottom. This is, and then I'll accept whatever this is from Gogoshu. All right, they all want me to go over here.
Damn it, I forgot not to move. Keep forgetting not moving is a prerequisite to do this stuff. How do I get up there? Is it up I have to go? No, it's down. Alright. Question becomes, how do I get down there? I mean, I can't imagine I'm just supposed to fall off. I am not supposed to fall off. So I changed my character's name, by the way. My character's name... Now has a mon in it, the way it was meant to be. Chasm buzzards. these yellow crystals coming out of the ground. They're kind of cool. <gasps> Hunter's log stuff. Oh, wait, I don't actually have a hunting log? Oh, how do, how do I check my... How do I check the, the Grand Company hunting log? company. There we go. Ooh. Wait, is that gonna... Okay, so that will display by default now. And why is it important?
Aha. There you go. Uh, I guess you seals and some promotions are locked behind this. Some content is locked behind these promotions. Okay, okay. I did it. Here you go. Alright, he does not give me another quest. Oh god! Thought I was falling into a pit then. How long? How long does my, uh, my Aijutsu gauge stay? Like my car, my getsu, and my setsu. How long does that stay on that bar there? Wait, what does he want me to do? Apply the tonic to his hair. Hey. Okay. You're gonna sprout a full head of hair now. Oh man, now he wants me to go over there. Oh, it lasts until you leave the area. Damn. It's pretty good. So I need to slay golden fleeces and obtain snurble blood. Is there a is there an unmount button that I can set up? Like a button that just takes me off my mount. Is there like a quick way to dismount? I mean, yeah, I am, but my mount button is down here and it's annoying to have to press it again. on my toolbar I should I really should maybe I can change it to like one of my side mouse buttons or something uh 
Um, game pads. Hotbar. Actually, if I change hotbar four, lot one, to this. There we go. All right. We fixed it. What the fuck do I get out of here? This way. Side quests are way easier when you can fly. I'm sure you can guess what you have to do to fly. Uh, does it involve uh, getting the fuck on with it? All right. What I need to know, though, is... When does flying actually get unlocked? Because if you tell me that it's like... Level 60 main story quests. And I'm currently doing... Level 24 main story quests. Then... You know... go take this all right level up Definitely didn't need to do that, but it damn sure is satisfying. So flight in ARR gets unlocked when you clear the final level 50 mission. Final ARR level 50 mission. There's all the 2.x stuff, which is also level 50. The flight will make it less of a hassle. As will the fact that most of the bullshit busy work to sign it off. After that, flight is unlocked on a zone by zone basis. The final bit you need. Always log behind finishing the plot in a zone. So you're done just in time to leave. You always have to slog it on foot while you're going through the story. Okay. We'll hand over this. Let him grow hair. We'll use the snowball tonic. I swear, if he needs one more thing. Oh, we're done. Done with that guy. Done with that guy. Now we'll go up here. 
Uh, it's going to be a while before it matters, but fuck, let's just jump this gun anyway. The last two dungeons are special dungeons that require eight people, but you have them massively outgeared. Wait, I have them massively outgeared. As I am now. Stick with the team, push your buttons, everything will be fine. Even then, participation is a matter of courtesy, not necessity. Huh. Okay. I mean, if they're the final two dungeons, then surely it is a matter of necessity, not courtesy. Because I have to do them. Take this meat. Give me that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A prime location, you say? Everything is balanced around the assumption that you're using whatever I level 49 to 50 drags the story gave you, not the 115 to 130. Okay, so can you explain to me I level 115 gear in comparison to being a level 50 set of gear? Can you explain to me what the difference is? Yeah, but but what I mean is like what's what's the eye level of level fifty gear that the story gives you compared to the gear that I get from switching over to samurai or whatever. just way lower actually I just realized something about the chocobo feathers right so the chocobo feathers I could have spent on getting the armor and the weapon, right? But you said, nah, you should probably wait until until you unlock tombstones and then just get better versions of the equipment that you'd buy with the chocobo feathers. But if that's the case, why haven't I spent the chocobo feathers? I'm pretty sure this Undertaker guy is a pugilist uh, hunt. Well, it's not that. It's just that you were like trying to give me pros and cons of spending the Chocobo Feathers now or spending them later. But there doesn't seem to be much point in spending them later. Because if I have all those tombstones, and I'm just going to use those to get better gear, I might as well buy level 50 gear with the feathers. 
Is there anything to spend the feathers on later? Because if there's nothing to spend the feathers on later, then I might as well spend them now. I think I already killed the Undertaker at one point, or that might have been an enemy I ran away from, I can't remember. So you can spend tombstones on level 60 gear and level 70 gear. Oh, no, 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 sorry. Yeah, you can spend the feathers on 60 and 70 gear. But by the time I get to 60 and 70, I'm going to be spending tombstones on that gear anyway. Aren't I? Sure you can spend, uh, now here's an important thing to note. Tomestones is a catch-all, but there's multiple kinds. The only kind you can get and worry about are poetics. The other kinds are only available when you're at the level cap. Okay. What is this? Oh, is this like fully official revealed? Here you go, you can buy this. Wait, isn't this old? a couple of months old, isn't it? I always thought that N7 day was November. I think this is, yeah, this is when they announced it. Yeah, 7th of November. They've just now compared the uh, release. Oh, they've confirmed the date. Uh... On this? Because I think the thing that you linked is old. Unless I'm looking at the, unless I need to watch the video that's embedded on it. Nope. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what I'm looking at. I don't know what I'm supposed to be looking at that link. Because it... If you scroll down, there's a side-by-side -side comparison. How far down? I don't think I'm seeing what you're seeing when I click that link.
All right, I'll show you. I'll show you what happens when I click the link. Okay, this is my browser. Here's me clicking the link. This is what comes up. All right, I'm looking. I'm looking. N seven day. That was November seventh. There's a video that's just a teaser trailer that says spring 2021. There's a picture of something there. I, I, I don't know where I'm supposed to be finding this side-by-side -side comparison thing. Oh, you think I need to delete... Just took me back to the same thing. But. Delete this. Click it. Nope. Just takes me to the same thing. Yep. Apparently people in England. People in England just don't. Don't get access to. Up to date information. About Mass Effect. What's that? People in England play Mass Effect? Fuck them. Ooh, pink dye. Nice. Do, 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 do. Alright, what's your poison? Use the leoformic acid and slay a... Rock skin and paste. So even through a VPN, still doesn't show. Basically, Bioware have decided that only Hungary gets to know. Only Hungary is allowed to know. Oh my god, I started a character the other day. I want to take advantage of this buff. Alright, I'm guessing that's you, Margin Bougie. So we've got Yang, Margin. Rachi Fortuna. We got Fox, I think. Maybe this is Fox. I can't remember. I can't remember who everybody is.
weird. I opened a treasure coffer and I got nothing. Button inputs messed up. Uh, let's not go back just yet. Go over here instead. And then we'll go over there and then we'll go back. So Unigan is yours. Nice attack cancel mal combo. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, one of these is um Okay, so we've got Fox Yang. One of these is Buns. And I think it's This one? Maybe? Yeah. I think, I think that might be the one. Okay, so what do I need to do with this? I need to use Leo. Leomorphic acid. Could I not have killed it without it or something? Guess not. Oh no, I wasn't checking your level. I'm just trying to remember who everybody is on my friends list because I have no idea. I wish there was a way to like apply a nickname to some of these characters. Should be able to see you. What's the friends list button again? There is no friends list button. Wait, are you on right now? No, you are on right now. Oh, no, you're not. Oh, yeah, you are. Okay. Oh, I see. I can see your jobs. Ah, I see. Yeah, that's, that's how I was able to find out who some people were. But, yeah, I need to, um, I guess maybe I can change it. Right, so can I like add a friend group? Wait, I'm, I still have the new adventurer tag. I thought that got rid of. So like I can add sign friend group. Can I rename the friend group? So you're a star. No, I guess not. Yeah, is there no way for me to... Hmm. Arjun Bougie is a gladiator. Don't think I can rename. Okay. Oh, supposed to use blessed water. Wait, hold up. Whoops. I mean, I 
Oh, I don't actually have to use blessed water. All right, never mind. I guess it's just one of those things where it's just like, you better use this item or you're dead. paint. Oh, you're going to give me some new paint. Use cactus piss on the carcass and slay insects. Okay. Oh my god, it's a flying pig. green paint. I will never use it. Chances are I'm probably just going to keep all of my die. Never know when I might want to die something a different color, you know? Like, what dies do I have at the moment? I've got this... Colibri pink dye. I've got this turquoise green. I've got this sunset orange. Yeah, you see that? You see that? Umbral was over here telling me to get on with it. I can't help it. I'm a completionist. There's a hundred, uh, there's a 100% uh, tag under the stream for a reason. All right. No, sometimes I do understand the importance of uh, kind of just getting on with it, especially when there's content locked behind main story quests. Oh, a nice grey. Trumpet, spell speed, vitality, critical hit, vitality. All right, we'll take the eggs. Time to go down this way. Oh. 
Big bad Brucey Moon. Are you trying to tell me that I can't beat Savage Emerald Weapon? Or Savage... Uh, that's the only raid I know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what the other raids are. I think there's one where you have to fight... Is there one where you have to fight Ultimecia? I can't... I can't remember. Oh, Ultima comes after Savage. Oh. Oh, I see. A 20 minute boss. That doesn't sound that bad. I used to be in a mythic raiding guild in WoW. I'm sure it'll be fine. Drifting cloud. Ah. Sidimund. Riridesu. Oh, he's also the guy that had the quest for me. He wants me to make a delivery down here. Now, right now, there are three ultimate raids, Ultima Bahama, Ultima, Ultima, and Ultimate Alexander. They are fucking hard. The entire point of them is for people who thought Savage was too easy and wanted the game to really swing at them. Hmm. What does the Ultima version of the raid change? Does it just change damage numbers and HP numbers? Five out. Wait, has it been that long already? Yeah, I stream for uh, I stream for eight hours every day. It's actually. Not as bad as people seem to think it is.
Kazuna. Uh, there's going to be a mechanic. Uh, there are four safe spots you have to move between. If you fuck up any of them and the margin of error is tiny, you die and the raid fails because the DPS checks are harsh and there's no margin for error. Ah. I see. Oh, what? What interrupted that? When you remember... Oh, you were in this area last night. Yeah, I've been to this area before, but somebody in the chat kept telling me to get on with it so that I could unlock uh, job stones and mounts. So I pretty much just skipped all the side content and was just focusing in on leveling and main story stuff. Oh, speaking of leveling, I think my random leveling dungeon is back. It is. Here you go. Have a package. Alright. Uh, clear selection. Oh, can I knock you for both of these at the same time? Thought I'd be able to queue for both of those at the same time, considering they were both random roulettes. Hello, Beacon. How you doing? more smoke bombs. Okay. God, Samurai is so much fun. I think I actually love the skills associated with it. Like, they're so flashy. They're so good looking. So you can only queue for one roulette. But if I was to queue for specific dungeons, I could queue for more than one, right? All right, so after I've been here, done all the central, I think I need to go back to Western and do the stuff in Western. Thanalan. And then I think I've cleared Thanalan completely of side quests. this. That's done. Oh, he's got another one. Okay. Oh, wait. There's another one here. Ah. Oh, what is going on here then? What's all this? You can look dangerous. Uh, taste them down and show them how furious I am. 
You. Hey guys, you. You right there. Uh, I wish these would be in alphabetical order. Alphabetical order would be really nice. Where's Where's Furious? I guess I could just forward slash it, but I guess I could, could I just Furious like that? Yeah, I usually type it, but I don't know. Can you sort them? Oh, you can. By name. Ah, oh, there we go. Ah, oh, much easier. Okay. All right. Excellent. Yeah, get out of here, concentrating, Carl. Wait, there's six of them. Oh my god, there's two more over there. There's going to be one over here. Ah, the laboring lad. Does this stay there? Oh, it does. It actually stays sorted, which I didn't think would be a thing. Oh, the spineless sap. <laughs> Buns coming in with the uh, the big knowledge, the big brain, big brain buns. Yeah, apparently you can sort emotes by clicking on the arrows up here, and you can either sort them by default order or in alphabetical order. Which is basically what I wanted. I'm going to be doing... I'm going to be queuing for this random dungeon, right? Watch this random dungeon be that Toto, Ro uh, Toto Rack one or whatever it is. Which actually wasn't that bad. Like, you guys were telling me yesterday that it's awful. But... I thought it was alright. It was relatively quick. And it's announcement. The deep croft. Okay. Oh my god, the link from the tweet still linked to the same thing. <laughs> uh Blog Wolf. Thank you very much. Follow. Appreciate it. Can somebody link me to DPS meters? Or a, a DPS meter that I should use? How does it work? Is it displayed on screen? Off to go fish. All right. Are we going this way? Oh, we're not going that way. The only problem is I don't have two monitors set up on um, 
on the PC that's running this. Does it need to be on the same PC that's running the game? I assume it would need to be. Is this the red mage, the little guy? Yeah, I mean, the only reason that I want to use uh, DPS meters is because I want to figure out if I'm actually doing well in dungeons. Like, I don't know how much damage I'm doing comparative to other people. Like, if I'm getting out damaged by our healer, then, you know, I should probably know about that. to make sure that I... Nem, can you do me a favor? Can you... Both of those links, the uh, the Advanced Combat Tracker and the YouTube links as well, can you send those to me on Discord? I was going to click on them and bookmark them, but... Um, you know, dun dungeons. I don't know why we went this way. Why did we go this way? Like, I don't even have access to my AoE in this dungeon. I guess I think died way quicker than I thought.
Yeah, I have access to, like, three skills here. I have my ranged attack, but that doesn't really help. I don't even remember if we're going the right way. think I would have preferred Cutter's Cry over this, despite having run that dungeon like 20 times already. Read it all, who cares? Last one of these, isn't it? Oh, yeah, we have to go further on and then go back there. I remember. God, I wish I had access to my AOE. Oh, that's true. I don't, do I? Uh, fuck, what was it under? Extras? No. It's under general. Ah, you're right. Thank you for reminding me. Mm. 
you think it's fair to just do it at the beginning? Oh yeah, you said something about it like being a waste of damage towards the end, right? I didn't actually do as much damage as I thought it would. Oh yeah, we need to whack this guy. I have some long distance attacks now to uh, hit somebody with when I'm outside of their range thing. leveled up and I've unlocked the Kenki gauge. So. Oh. Maybe I shouldn't have been reading this in here. Uh, the Kenki gauge displays the current amount of Kenki a samurai has accumulated. Kenki slowly builds and a samurai's blade through a successive execution of weapon skills. Kenki is required to execute special devastating attacks such as Hisatsu Kaiten, Hisatsu Gyoten, and Hisatsu Gyuren. Okay. The Sen Gauge displays which of the three Sen effects are currently accumulated. Okay. So there's just uh, an additional thing. Okay, so now I have... Wait, did I not check out the... Did I not look at the loot? Uh... All right, I missed it. Oh, shit. I've just got a sword. Randomly. Okay. Uh. Huh. What do I do? What do I do with this sword? Where, where do I even put this? Do I put it there? <laughs> Alright, how do I set it to simple? No, 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 wait. Before the explanation, how do I set it to simple? They failed. I didn't even join the fate. Select the sword, then hit the gear. Hit the sword. Hit the gear. And set it to simple. Do I? Do I set it? Oh, no. I'm, I'm Okay, I'm technically not on that. I'm on the cross. What the hell is the cross hotbar? I need to know what that is. What is the cross hotbar? Oh, it's for when you're on controller. I see. 
All right, well, that can just go into the middle of the screen there where it's not bothering anyone. All right, how... Okay, so this is the... Maybe I put it in the middle just here. There we go. As you land attacks, you build Kenki. One of them has to hit from the rear. The other has to hit from the side. The Yukizaki doesn't... Yukikazi doesn't give a shit. Okay. Inky gauge costs 20. Then rushes target and delivers an attack with a potency of 100. That doesn't seem that great. N Yalm backstep grants enhanced NP, which is the ranged weapon. You can spend. Kenki on assorted things. Right now, there's just one thing, which is Hisatsu. Increases your next weapon skill potency by 50. Is this classed as a weapon skill? This is classed as a weapon skill. Okay. Wait, why is it better for Hegan Barna and not waiting to use it on Setsugeka? Does it? Because Higambana does what? 320 or something? Setsugeka does 800. I wish that. Is there a way to see what these skill, uh, skills do? Like Higambana and Setsugeka and Tenka Goken. Is there a way. To see what those skills do without. Oh, here. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, is this the. Is this the Kenki version? Or is this just a better version? Okay, so it's not Kaishi. Okay, so it's different. Oh, it's the level 76 version. Okay. 1200, damn. Okay, so Higambana does 250 with a potency of... Oh, I... Okay. So it's... So it does 250 base, and then it does 40 damage every three seconds for 60 seconds so it would do an extra 800 i think so this move does 1050 over 60 seconds mass is not my strong suit Okay, I was right. Okay, my mass was right. Okay, good. And then this one only does 800 immediately. And so this increases it by 50%. So this will go from 1050 to 1575. And this will only go up to 1200. Okay. All right. And this costs... I can use... How... Oh, I can just use this. So I could use this before 
every one. Ooh, okay. Hmm. Wait, what's... What's Yuki Kaze? This is Yuki Kaze. Okay. Oh yeah, increases the Kenki gauge by 10. Okay. Does the Kenki gauge go down at all? Like, is it a depleting resource? Okay, so it only changes when I change class or move zone. Okay. Awesome. So... Okay. Alright, I think I can... I think I'm gonna get the hang of this. Wait, let me just... Uh... this. I'm just going to use this. Why not? Yeah, I did not do a lot. So all of these moves only do a hundred, but they do a lot more when they combo. Okay. I uh I think I got it. I think I think I understand. What is that? That does that does not seem that does not seem good. Oh that's one of those hunt things, isn't it? Almost to hundred if you don't combo them, so doing them inside of a combo is waste of time unless you want to see the animation it's I'm I'm I don't think I'm gonna fight this thing I don't think I'm gonna be able to beat this thing I mean should I try I... yeah exactly exactly see I knew it I knew I was being lied to. I knew somebody was trying to trip me up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you got another quest for me now. Which then gives me a quest for this guy again. Hmm. I feel like... I feel like that can actually move down quite far. Yeah, we'll put it more like that. Okay. I think I've got a somewhat decent hot bar layout. Like, everything's kind of where I want it. The only thing I would change is this, but I have no idea how to change it. 
What I really want. Because I know you can do it because I've seen it in a video about UI stuff. Is I want a collapsible hotbar. I, I want like just a one button thing that I can just press and then it expands the hotbar and then all of these are in it. Yeah, exactly. I, I know that it's a macro. I just don't know what the macro is. Use empty sacks on weakened dune anglers. Oh my god, I'm probably going to kill those things before I have a chance to actually use the sacks. Unless it's the kind of thing where it doesn't actually let me kill them. Oh, auto attacks works, sure. Tax does in fact work. Come here, you. I love the run animation when you have your weapon out. It's so good. Don't crit. Fucking... No! Oh, it... it interrupted me and then I couldn't do anything. pretty good the only downside is that it's a bit small wait where's the xp bar this person doesn't even have an xp bar on the screen i guess you don't really need one if you're already max level Oh, it's above the HP bar. Oh, you're right. It's just smaller. Oh. Okay. It's not too bad. Just having everything at the bottom of the screen, that's kind of nice. Wait, this person has two skills set to E. Am I looking at that right? Or is that Q6E? F, G, V, C, X? Damn. The other is shift E. No, it's, it's on the left-hand side, top row. It goes... It looks like it goes QEE, -E, but that might just be my bad eyesight. Could also be a six. All right. 
right. That is all of the side quests done in southern Banalan. And we'll just TP to western. Lever an S. I can't imagine it being an S. How does the person move backwards? Oh, I remember this side quest. This is the first side quest that I had where you were just like, get the fuck on with it. <laughs> oh, wait, I can do the next. Uh, I can actually do the next samurai quest, can't I? All right. Well, we'll do that tomorrow. He turns the keyboard upside down. Oh, you wait. But yeah, we'll do that tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to be heading off. I'm really enjoying Samurai. I like Samurai a lot more than Monk. I love the flashy skills. I love all the cherry blossoms flying everywhere. I like that it's... it's I wouldn't say it's easier, but... Um, I'm finding it a lot more fun. Uh, some of the skills shown on these bars no longer exist. The one in the bottom, can't figure out, is a gear which you could only do if the enemy was below 20%. And if you got a killing blow of it, it gave you a big chunk of Genki. Ah! All of the finished skills like that were removed because they were a fiddly pain in the ass. Okay. Okay, good. Um. Oh, wow. But yeah, I'm going to be heading off. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your Tuesday. Uh, thank you to Drake Lodian for the follow and Blagwolf for the follow. Oh, you found the macro to display the hotbars. All right, I'll tell you what. If you can, if you if you can tell me what the macro is, we, we'll do that first, and then I'll go. Oh, his bun's gone already. Wait, was it too late? Ah, here we go. So, I go into macros. And then it's... What is it? It's... Forward slash hotbar display. I guess it would be four in this case. And then on slash off. Like this. Okay. Just call it mounts. Why not? So then I will move this macro here. Wait, four is not a valid hotbar number. What do you mean? What do you mean? It's hotbar four right there. Can I only do it with hotbar nine? I guess maybe it needs a space. So wait, what is a shared hot bar? So this is hot bar nine.
Wait, if I change this macro, say nine. Ah. Okay. Wait, so if four to ten are shared, then why didn't not let me use Wait. Wait, no, it's it's still doing it to hotbar number four. Even though I changed the command uh, the macro to say nine, it's changing four. I I I'm I'm so confused. Wait, so if this is Wait, what? Maybe it doesn't save until I've closed the window. Hold up. It doesn't save until I've closed the window. Okay, never mind. Never mind. No, no, no. We figured it out. We figured it out. Right, how do I how do I turn this hot bar off now? There we go. Okay. So now we need to figure out. Ah, okay. So I can still... Oh, look who it is. Margin Bougie. The Pugilist. Wait, weren't you a... Weren't you a gladiator? Just, uh... I feel... Weren't you something else just now? Yeah, you were a gladiator. Yeah, I thought you were. Didn't realize you changed to a pugilist. Yeah, you have to close the editor to do it. Okay, so now... Edit macro. Let's change the picture. To... Christ, I don't know. I was hoping that I could change it to a picture of a mount, but... I don't know. We'll change it to a green crystal. How's that? Because mounts are green. Wait, I can? I can? I've only got four pages of icons. What if I change it? Like, can I move this up here? No? Okay. And does that go in the same macro? Oh, at the start. So, macro, icon... Mounts. Uh, it's the S Fenrir, maybe. Can I can I use a? Hmm, no. Oh, it's Mount Guide. Mount Guide. Do I put something afterwards? Do I... Do I put, like... Fat... Chocobo, and then it changes to the Fat Chocobo version? No? Oh, now it actually has just broken the macro. Okay, it's no longer broken.
doesn't need chocobo. No? Oh, wait. What if I... Just get rid of the macro icon. Maybe it does it like that. No? Okay. Ah. Hmm. I don't know. So it's macro icon, icon name mount so it would be like this oh it's Fenrir not Fenris so S SDS Fenrir mount like that aha there we go And luckily, when the com when the uh, when the hot bar is hidden, I can still press mouse five. Ah, oh, that's so good! It's so good. Okay, it looks nice now. I like it. Excellent. Right, and on that note. I'm going to love you and leave you. Again, Drake Lodian, Blog Wolf, thank you guys for the follow. Thank you guys for hanging out. I hope you uh, enjoy the rest of your Tuesday. I will catch you guys tomorrow. I'll be back at 10 a.m. Have a good one, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>